Hello, and welcome to the stream. Eight matches, Champions League, on the line. So it all comes down to this. So it all comes down to this. Reese, thank you for the 39 months as part of the Hammers. I appreciate it. That is the head of the editorial team. If you didn't know, Reese, the editor, he doesn't make it very obvious with his name, so. Who are the remaining games against? Ooh. New Wolves, Newcastle, Man City, Tottenham, Stoke, Liverpool, Nottingham Forest, Arsenal. Flow Feast, thank you so much for converting to the tier one. IZ, how are you? Ready. Prepared. I am prepared for this incredible run-in that is going to reward us massively. Greetings. Greetings, Jamie. Greetings. But yeah, we had a... Uh, we're on a run of four matches without a win, which is tough. Even though two were draws against Manchester United and Chelsea. We are in a run with four... Here, I'll bring it up for you. We're on a run with uh, four without a win. Getting my feet into FM again? It's weird. I like to dive head first, but, you know... The Bournemouth draw, obviously, we pulled the goal back at the death with Cole Palmer in the 94th minute, Bournemouth being third in the league. The loss away to West, it just, you know, frustrating results, lack of clean sheets, not putting chances away. But you left a few potential wins on the board, I think, tragically. Tether, thank you for the tier one. Do West Ham have Cayman Faro? Absolutely not. We have Cayman Faro. You beautiful man. You beautiful man, Cayman Faro. What a player. I uh, yeah. go with quickness. Do some wonders for us. I'll, I need to do that for all of the guys that just signed, actually. We can do that while you guys debate whether we're going to actually be able to pull this off or not. Should be a training thing. Training, individual. I say yes. We're actually very competent against, like, teams that uh, are, are good. I feel like we're much more common, uh, much more commonly in a position where we let down ourselves, you know? I'm K. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Tranquil, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon. I'm K coming in. Woo! Let's get this started correctly. Yeah, let's get it started with a win, dude. What's your footedness? Why do I not have that pop up on the screen, Dennis? You're a right winger. Dennis Britch. Let's do a little in inverted winger off the left training then. I just want to make sure we have position training on some of the newer guys that are coming through here. As that'll, uh, that aids development just in, you know, a ton. So it looks like a uh, winger type player. Okay. And we did have, we did a pretty solid youth intake, actually. Emmanuel Janata, just, you know, lock in, Emmanuel. Freaking lock in. You're looking, you're looking distinctly not locked in right now. Oh, but we, it's, we don't have an easy run in. We do well against good teams, which is good. Uh, for this, at least. But obviously, you'd rather be playing bad teams if you have a run-in like this. But I, I definitely think... Wow, this guy's versatile. I definitely think that you can't count us out. That's what I think. We are only one point out. I realize if you weren't here yesterday, you probably don't know that. We're only one point out from uh, the Champions League positions right now. We were, we've were we been in the Champions League positions most of the season. But our run of, like, sputtering through draws eventually did us in. All right, Stacy Gibb. 
You're a left wing? Okay. Long live left wing play. Use Betty, a to brick. Is it like you actually ate the brick? Or like, what are we... What are we thinking here? Cayman's already got his position. You're going to absolutely crush it. Kelvin Winard crushing it. I have actually heard of FC Santa Claus. They've got, they've got some serious game. I mean, when you got Dasher and Blitzen as a striker tandem, that's just, you know, pfft. that's ridiculous. Messing with Texas, thank you for the gift and sub. Thought you were turning him into a right back? Uh, no. He's certainly not the archetype of a right back. Uh, Kamester, thank you for the six months. Kirky, thank you so much for the 16 months. Uh, did we get any good kids? Yeah, we got one kid through our youth intakes. Actually, an American named Cayman Farrow. That was not fun. Hamstring strain for Jade Nadai. Jade Nadai is one of those trusted faces around this club. I did spend a little time before the stream started looking through our various transfer debt. I forgot how much we paid for Mari. Paid 50, 30 million for Mari. Almost all of it was deferred, but we paid 30 million to get Mari onto the team. We have 160 million in transfer debt that we have accumulated. Let's go. And with our trip to the Champions League, we shall pay it off. With our brilliant trip to the Champions League. Today, I'll thank you for the eight months. Jake, thank you for the year. Congrats on the di the uh, the gold bacon. Mari, not much. That's true. Not much compared to a lot of our other purchases. To be back. Keep missing streams. And make new debt. Yes, if we can erase our old debt. Fonseca is not five star potential anymore. Very few people are at the level that we seem to have reached. But Fonseca is 19 and still has room to improve. We'll take it. Are you Lelujo in disguise all his transfer debt? No, I just realized that like I've never done a save where you have to climb this much, right? And I realize, like, going through the process, I'm like, okay, well, we just need... We need to use the future success we can achieve by getting this person on our team to get it, like, to get them on the team now. So, the guys like Bulo, Fonseca, we needed to leverage our, our future in order to get them on the team. But if we can get them on the team now, then we can start winning now. Winning solves all problems, and however you can convince somebody to join your team. Oh, come on, Shevchenko. I don't even care. Hope he proves you wrong. I do also hope that he proves me wrong by being good enough to play, which he's not going to do, but appreciate your optimism. That is the best way to turbocharge your team up the league. Exactly. We're not breaking FFP. We still have the third lowest wage budget in all of the Premier League. And we're guaranteeing everybody our firstborn child just to get them to play here. But that will not be the case after this season, after this tremendous performance. Oh, yeah. Are you the Everton board in disguise? I did say that earlier. Like, we're handling ourselves like Everton, but we're winning after doing it. Oh, yes, Wolves. Wolves is playing for some reason like two days before we play against them. So they're going to be tired. We won't be. And we're going to be seeking three points today. Bear, thank you for the nine months. But buying good players, not draw. Yeah, but not buying Hamas Rodriguez. No offense to Hamas. He's very talented, but he just wasn't, you know, he wasn't the right buy. Or ever I'll say bye. With that insane amount of money, you know. Don't need any of that nonsense. I'm running up the capital gains. Yeah, I'm de I'm deferring. I'm doing so. You know, I'm deferring our spend over the course of the player's contract. It's exactly what I'm doing. 
This is underneath the match tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just do. We'll do nothing in the U21 league. We'll have them all play with the U18s, that friendly against Crawley. Two years sheesh. Sheesh. Radical, thank you for the 21 months. How'd you do in the Champions League this season? Brother, we were not in the Champions League this season. This is our second year in the Prem. Our first year in the Prem, we finished 13th. But you know what? Come back and ask me that next year. All right. Freaking have an answer for you. Okay, Javier Nazareno is actually not good. He's not bad though. I'm, I'm, yeah, okay. I'm a little, a little weirded out. He made top 50 wonder kids in the world because I thought his potential was going to be a lot higher than that. I'm surprised he's only rated one star though. His attributes actually look pretty good. Uh, Pierre Garcia, you are a very well balanced winger. Excellent little attribute distribution on that lad. Mubarak Muhammad. Now, I look, I love the fact that there's an 18 year old from the UAE in the top 50 wonder kids, but. He's not a, he, while being a kid, he is not a wonder. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Finn Stevens. It's been all right. Finn has been all right. Davide, I know you hate me. Look, just get over it. We're all we're all pulling for the same goal here, Davide. I know you're you're the Debbie Downer out there. But we're going for the same thing. Hamas was the right buy up until Carlo Ancelotti left. It's always weird to me. You build the work rate in the system and then introduce the quality. You don't just introduce the quality and you're like, all right, we're going to figure it out, boys. Was upset. It's just usually not how it works. Aston Villa's Daryl DK signs new two year deal. Nice. America. Why Murray? Murray's played seven matches this year. What do you mean he's not England's number one goalkeeper? Dominic Kish cleared for 75 minutes after food poisoning. Guess what? Don't think you can aggravate that. I would like for him to play the entire game. Thank you. But Jade Nadai is not eligible, so that brings Ryan Bailey up to the bench. We're good. Okay, Gonzalez, Fonseca, Bulo, Carlotti, Riquero, Evans, Martin, Norback, Falcone. Mari, you're in for Evans. And Evans, you're in for Oliver Martin. Oliver Martin Imagine sits this game. Worth of Twitch subs from yes. Okay, problems. Thank you for the 21 months. Juco, Johnny, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you guys for being a part of the Hammers. This is the maximum value the AI will ever offer for a player. Sold a player for 267. I've seen in like AI to AI negotiations over 300. But like 315, 320. That's the highest I've ever seen between the AI. Uh, the highest offer I've ever gotten was probably like 180, and I didn't even take it. You know, it's for the that's the offer you get for those types of players that are just like unbelievable. You know, the next messy type players that even if you have all the money in the world, you can't replace. So often, if you're getting that type of offer, you don't take it because you're like, I don't think I can replace this guy, and I already have a lot of money. So why would I take that offer? All right. <sighs> Stick to the plan. Be patient. We'll be fine. This is a, uh, I mean, there, look, there's eight matches left. Every match is massively important. We need to get out of this drawing habit we've slipped into and pick up a win at Bristol City Stadium today. <laughs> Free Europe. <laughs> Free Europe. What's Evans finishing? It's like 12. Lax, thank you for the prime. Thanks for being a part of the Hammers. I had offers over 450 million euros for one of my regions. Right? That would be the highest I'd ever seen for sure. Not up front with a ton of ins Okay. They might, I mean, there are, only, there are like barely any teams that can put together 300 million to make an offer that is just 300 million up front for a player. I mean, it takes years into the game and good financial management by that particular AI to do it. All right. Bring it back. Yeppy. 
This is really nice. I feel like qualifying for the Europa League could be bad for us. We do not have the depth for that. Europa League will not provide us money to improve depth. No, I don't think it'd be bad for us. I actually think we do have the depth. Get that. with his first goal for Totten Town. Pick that out. What a strike by Carlotti. The Italian. EJP, that sounds fun. What a shot. <laughs> Hello. Andrea Carlotti's at it again. The Italian stallion at fullback. The complete fullback. Can score absolute bangers. Oh, he's feeling it, feeling it. Yes, yes, he is. Oh, way to work, Evans. Way to work, Maori. Oh, good ball. Norback. Maori should have taken a touch. On that. Yeah, baby. Evans. Got him. Yep, and Norback. Norback. May I have this dance? Oh. Yeah, he is right-footed. He has a very good left foot, uh, but he's he's almost completely either-footed. He's one tick away from being completely either-footed. But his dominant foot is right. Oh, get in. Get in, Raquero. Oh, it's the, the boys are having a game. We needed this. We need these three points, chat. We absolutely have to have them. Ja, thank you for the 30 months. Beyond Ultra Gaming, thank you for the two months as well. We absolutely have to have this, and we're getting it. Rafael Roquero with his third goal of the season, his second from a direct free kick, and he just made that look so easy. We're on that all day. Oh, Carlotti getting there. Oh, boy. That turned into a bit of an adventure. <sighs> ah. And this is our transitional year. We're not even playing in Taunton. We're playing in Bristol while we redo our stadium. Good press. Ricaro, good header. Mari, it's a very dangerous dribbler. It's a difficult ball to defend. We'll take that. It's a difficult ball to defend. Andreski, thanks for raiding in. I hope you had a good stream. Do that? Oh, what hustle. What a terrible header, though. Why are we so flat-footed there, boys? Like, what is going on? There was nothing unusual about that at all. That was a straight play. Right up the middle of the team. And both of our center backs were so flat-footed on this. Like, what? what? What play were we trying to make there? Neither of you were trying to cut off, like, the pass. There was no play that we were trying to make. I mean, just completely flat. That is absolutely disgusting from Yepi Norbag. That should have been in the net. What a pass. Oh, Davide. Davide, 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 Davide. Davide Falcone. I thought it was going in, honestly, when he hit the shot. Oh, what a header! He doesn't hear the haters. He doesn't hear the haters. Luis Fonseca with a glorious goal. The 19-year-old Spaniard for Taunton Town. Beautiful. Haters of the chat. 
Oh, well, there you go. Nice pass, Davide Falcone. Oh, Carlotti, Mari. Nice run. Why is the goalie jumping front post and the header's going back post? Hey, look, all right, it went in. It was a very difficult angle to get that ball into the net. He got, oh, and he's there again! Goal! Big Luis Fonseca! What's better than one goal? Two goals for the 19-year-old Spaniard. He's devouring the Wolves. Oh, give him the hat trick. Give him the hat trick. Yep, he knows it back. Oh. He just had to get comfortable in West England. We know what Luis Fonseca can do. Just had to get comfortable. I have still am so confused by that goal. Both of my center backs just didn't move. It's a very bad play from them, and they're both very good. Oi, Norbeck. Cut it. Fonseca. Evans. No. Yes, Mari. No. Oh, he forced the lofted ball again. Fonseca owns that guy. Oh, Fonseca, nice pass. What a pass by Yepi Norbeck! The goalkeeper's out! He can't get there, and it's 5 1. <clears throat> well, we found all of our goals, chat. Yeah, all right. This is uh, this is nice. This is nice. This is cool. It is still the first half. There have been six goals in the first half. Five for us. How are you kidding me, dude? Bro, I, like, you can't be getting beat by some random dude named David Washington. All right? You just can't. You can't keep getting rinsed by him. Nice pass, nice pass, Falcone, bringing it back. Oh, what a save. Rush, thank you for the, the five gifted subs. Thank you for making five people's days. If you got a gifted sub, be, uh, sub, be sure to say thank you. And uh, I appreciate that. In the subsection of the Discord and all that stuff, you now have access to it. There, there we go. Five one at half. Uh, you're doing brilliantly. I think is the only appropriate response to that. Two goals off corners. Uh, you know, a free kick goal, an absolute banger by Carlotti. We're just uh, we're making a lot of plays today. Only one goal really from the run of play, like in our tactic. Good settled play from Ted Curd. And it's all Ricaro moving around, opening up the play for us. Force the long ball, bring it down. Here we go, Ricaro. Nice. Evans, Mari, Norback, straight through. Dom Kish. Wait, it's halftime? Yes, it was uh, 5 1 in the first half. It's a solid team performance. And somehow, I feel like we missed two of our best goal-scoring chances. We just scored bangers. Fonseca, nice. Evans, Kish. Yep, he knows back. He's got Dom Kish. Dude, we really are missing, like, chances, too. <laughs> that totally should have been a goal. Yep, he back is feeling it. He has at least three assists today. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fluid. Oh, it's in a fluid state. Oh, my goodness. They're just balling out. This is so fun to watch. This is nice. Hey, 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 hey. Watch it. 
No, I mean, our defense is a problem, and we're not always going to have Carlotti score bangers and Luis Fonseca score two goals off corners. Right? We need to figure out why our defense is being bad, and it's probably a reason beyond me just being like, well, our guys are good, but, like, I don't know why it keeps happening. You know, it's like, oh, nice finish. <laughs> nice finish by Dominic Kish. But he's a he's a hundred million dollar player, for real. Dominic Kish is a one hundred million dollar player. Great ball by Ricaro. Open the whole play up. Evans can play anywhere and do well. Gives Kish a chance, and that is a very good goal. Yeah, I know our defensive alignment is pretty aggressive with our uh, fullbacks, but. Uh, I just thought we were better than that. Uh, Mari. Roquero. Nice. Oh, well, you know, it was almost cool. Press it up, press. Oh, they played out of the pressure. They don't do that very much or very well. That's ours. I swear, if you want one thing Fonseca does a lot better than Bulo, he heads it to our team. Every time it's Bulo, he's just heading it, like, to them. For whatever reason. He's obsessed with it. Uh, let's go Palmer. Let's go... Who else was exhausted? Oh, yeah, it was Carlotti was a little tired. Go Toth. We'll make a couple more subs around 75. That Fonseca hat trick is just beckoning. Oh, Mari. God. Oh, baby, Cole Palmer. Wow, Kish kind of messed that up. Uh, does Kiss have a $98 million release clause? It's something like that, yeah. All right, Davide, don't get your stupid butt sent off, please. Uh, Oliver Martin, you're coming in, and Sebastian Salvatierra. Also, no, Bulo is the guy that needed a break, so we'll get him off for Vosbach. Dude! At least he recovered it. He must not be sold. Lock him down. Yeah, I don't want to live in a world where Dominic Kish isn't on our team, but. You know, $100 million is $100 million. Why did you not catch that, Ted? All right, Oscar, what you got for us? That is such a bad pass. See, Fonseca heads it to our team. He really needs to teach Bulo how to do that. Oh, Vosbach. No, oh, it's a mistake, and it's Dominic Kish, who I can't. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even think Kish is playing a good game. Do you job rolls the end of the season for channel points? Uh, the channel point, like, staff member rolls? We just kind of get to it uh, usually, like, once a stream. If we have any redemptions, we have a, a short, uh, like, a, a Google sheet that the uh, mods keep updated when it gets redeemed. Oh, is he on? Bro, I'm, like, really disappointed with the way we played in this game. I know that's, like, such a weird thing to say. But, like, this is so bad. This is so simple and so bad. We're playing against a 4-4-2, and it looks like we're playing against Martians. Like, we haven't been able to defend anything in this game. They just can't score. Play for set pieces for that Fonseca Hattie. Nah, man, it'll come organically. Come on. Like, they have 2XG. We've only out XG'd them 3.78 to 2. They have 10 shots and 2XG. Like, Ted Curd just made a huge save, but. 
Our defense is still a problem. And against, you know, again, maybe we succeed against better, but like, goal scoring was a problem for us for a while. I, uh, whatever. When we play against good teams, we usually put our fullbacks on fullback support. Yeah. Something we want to think about doing against most teams and then stretching forward if we can. That was still just bad, though. Like, we followed them forward, and then they made a run, and we didn't follow them back, and I don't know. I actually didn't love the way we played in that game, but it was a huge win. Well, it was a match we needed to win, right? We absolutely had to win that match, and we did. So... Still going. Chelsea lost to Leeds, so they turned on the bottle. Bournemouth won uh, away to Burnley. Newcastle won. They beat Sunderland away with Andreas Shelderup. So now Newcastle's in the conversation. United's trying to catch Chelsea, but everybody has a match in hand against United. But I think they did win. Yeah, they did. They beat Tottenham. And West Ham slipping, perhaps. Three points off Chelsea. No, they won against Nottingham. They're doing what they can. That's the whole picture. I just... No, oh, don't raise a Bulow fitness concern. Are you kidding me? This is not the time for David Bulow to have one of his stupid heart attacks where he's useless, okay? Needs a rest. Dude, this is the Premier League. You just had a week off of training and played one match. Stop. That's honestly probably a contributing factor, though. I, don't, I, I legitimately, I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do about it. What do, you, what, do you, what do you want me to do? We've got fixture congestion that's about to hit. Um, we have Newcastle, City, Tottenham as our next three matches. When am I going to rest my superstar center back for that? Why can he not recover when he has a week off of training? Right? I literally sent him to Cancun for six days, and he came back and played a match. And he's like, I don't know, boss. Still a little fatigued. Come on, brother. Jorginho, thank you for the 21 months. Fred, my girl. Oh, that's freaking awesome, dude. Congratulations. Gary's really excited, too. It's that travel. Yeah. What if I just... Can I send him on vacation? Isn't that an option? You can be like, hey, I'm going to send you on vacation. I know I'm resting him from training, but I mean, like, don't even come into the ground, dude. Just leave. It's the physio menu. Yeah, like, let me sort by fatigue. Uh, we have a few fatigue guys. Amazingly, I'm not getting the report on... Bulo, I'm just getting the report on a few of the other lads that'll be fine by the end of the week. Training rest, part of the... Tra oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, well, that's... It's the same thing. It's what we're... No pitch or gym work is what I've got him on. Can I, can I not send him on? Jammy, thank you for the two years, dude. Appreciate it. You can choose holiday. Okay. No, I mean, those are the options.
Brandon Evans does have Barcelona interested in him, so that's fun. I wonder how that's going to get... I have a feeling we might have a live... I mean, we always have a lively offseason, but I have a feeling we're going to have another lively offseason. Liam DeLapp is considering a U.S. switch. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, he's been in the U.S. long enough? Or is he always American and Irish and he's just decided it's time? Uh, I accept that. Yeah, we're, we're not going to call you up. Mikel Velt is considering a switch to Estonia. Uh, Mikel, I do believe it is a good decision. So I accept your decision. And Tom Orion in uh, Orion Ingzelis Breen. I have no idea how good this is. This guy is. Uh, discuss international future. I've consulted with respective parties. I'm leaning towards representing Norway over England at this time, as I believe would be a key player in the squad. I am, however, open to persuasion. Should you have anything to say in order to convince me otherwise? You'd play a significant role for us. Uh, let's see. And you, Martin Bright, you are... Yeah, you're a, you're a Scotland player. That's fine. By all means, dude. By all means. He gained nationality in my save. He's England's number nine. Nice. Matty Matt, thank you for the two months. So he went and played for LAFC long enough that now he's going to play for the U.S. national team at 31. That's awesome. PFA player of the year. Wait, Dom Kish might win player of the year. He's second in, I mean, he's eight goals behind Erling Holland for most goals this season. Yepi Norbeck has 17 assists this year. Ted Kurt is third in clean sheets, tied for second, actually. Dom Kish is third in player of the match awards, second in average rating. Jorginho, oh! thank you for the five gifted subs. What do you want as a contract? Do you want a youngster deal? Well, that's a lot of money for a youngster, dude. I'll tell you what. I'll give you that. And salary after reaching five club games is going to be 250 And he'll be like, oh, no. He's like, actually, bro. See, that's too much money. And now this guy, he wants a youngster playing. Yeah, see, that's like a totally reasonable youth contract. I'm just trying to build out my youth teams, bro. Steven love it. I love it, man. Just trying to add some decent players to our U21s, our U18s to aid the development pathway of talented young players at our club. Heck yeah. Bournemouth in the Champions League spots is crazy. Totally legit. I, like, I had nothing to do with it. They're just popping off right now. They are popping off. All right, I'll play him. Oh, shoot. I'm going to play him against Newcastle, and then I'm going to play him against um, Man City, and then I'm going to rest him against Stoke. Play him against Tottenham, and then rest him in the next match. And that should get him back. Bulo, I mean. That should get him back. Engaged and throwing subs around. Let's get it. No, it's huge news, though, Jorginho. I'm really, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Oh. Press for cookies. Thank you for the seven months. Oh, I believe it. It's just wild. Always a few random teams that just pop off. I mean, similar to the way Leicester did it for a while, where Leicester was just around the top six for like five or six years. It just happens. Juanza sings Norback's praises. Oh, Ingzelis Breen has rejected a future with us, which is fine. I actually don't think he's that good. He reaffirms his commitment to Norway while well, I'm removing him from my national pool. How do you like those apples? Profit made in the Premier League. Oh, let's go. See, look, what are you talking about? Chelsea lost $128 million. United lost $100 million. Newcastle lost 61 Only six teams made a profit. To Arsenal's credit, they're one of the big clubs, and they made a profit. We're the fourth most profitable team in the Prem. Bournemouth is the most, which is incredible. They're just the best-run team in the history of the world right now. 
do 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 do. Jabril Camara. But all, everybody, all the money we're spending, all the disaster, all the humanity, we're like the fourth most profitable team in the league. Because staying in the Premier League and then getting into Europe and staying in Europe, the amount of money that that just causes you to get from every monetary source in the game, from attendance to sponsorships, is crazy. Not to mention the interest of high-quality players that that creates. Like, say, after this season, basically, no matter what happens to bring in the end of this season, um, our reputation is no longer going to be the lowest reputation of any Premier League team, which is great. Finally. <laughs> Finally, our reputation will not be the lowest of any Premier League team. This is a tough game. Bye, Rodan. Thank you for the two months. The six months. It's just two months in a row. I can't read. Congrats on the silver bacon. And Nugget. Thank you for the five months. Eagles, thank you for the gift and sub to Black Clover as well. New to the game. Anyway, uh, to reduce injury risk, I'm constantly resting players and doing little training. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Don't do that. See this? This is what a training calendar looks like um, for me. Like, if we load in, let's say, that, that's what a normal training week will look like. Uh, it depends on what level you're playing at, right? If you're playing in non-league or you have a ton of matches, then, yeah, resting players is good. But if you get the best physio you can, if you have the opportunity to sign a sports scientist, if you get the best sports scientist you can, then, yeah, you're doing all you can. Uh, but... Injuries are just, they're going to happen. They're part of the game. They're going to happen. Uh, what you're trying to do is not make it so that your your risk of injuries are increasing, which means not don't have intense training in the few days before a match. Uh, you want your most intense training the second day after a match, but not within like the two days before a match. Uh, you want to have a really intense preseason so that your team is physically prepared for the rigors of the season. So you want to go really hard in the preseason. Uh, there's nothing wrong with going really hard in the preseason. One or two people are going to get hurt, but it helps get your team together. I'm going to go with Brand. I actually, you know, we play that well. Am I really going to be like, am I really going to step in and go, yeah, let's change it. So what are they doing? They're doing a little 4-3-3. They got Popov popping off in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey. Uh, all right. We're going to drop Gonzalez. And we are going to not work on Popov. Do I want to go with Oscar Hernandez? He's not really the facilitator of my dreams here. Vibes are immaculate. We're in Champions League places. Uh, this is the team we are quite literally tied with on points. So a win in this game would be absolutely monstrous. I go with a mid block. All right. It keeps their wingbacks from getting behind our wingers too much. Like, if we press up on that side, we're just going to start out of a mid block. But I don't want to invite too much pressure by lowering our back line. No pressure on us. I have faith in you. Let's rock and roll, dudes. Let's rock and roll. Let's get a big win, huh? Let's get a big win. This would be massive. We carried the win against Wolves that we needed to carry. We got the three points. We're tied with Newcastle. The win against Newcastle and a disappointing result for Chelsea would create separation. And we're also waiting for Bournemouth to drop points so that maybe we can throw Bournemouth down below us. Get up to third in the Premier League, but Bournemouth refused to drop points anywhere and remain four points ahead of us. Ooh, nearly. Yeah, I think this mid-block might be the move. 
if we're worried about the opposition's wingbacks. I'm already seeing the positioning of, like, Falcone on the far side is with Tariq Lamptey. That's great. That's just great. Okay, that is not a good place to give up a foul, Gerardo. The current ability starts your players change very frequently. Uh, yeah, they do. They're, uh, I mean, the stars are relative to your team, uh, and they're also affected by the form of the player to some degree, not entirely. So, yeah, they the stars definitely can fluctuate. Also, if you just, like, change the staff member that provides the stars, then they'll change immediately. <laughs> I feel like sometimes it messes up. Don't trust my sports scientist. Yeah, love-hate relationship, right? Oh, Maori. What a pass to Vide. Good pass. Good pass. Oh, we were sharing the love. We were tossing the biscuit. Just couldn't put it in the net. That was a beautiful play. Falcone chipping across to Norback. Knocks it down to Evans. Oh, that's, that's okay. Gerardo. Oop, jump starts the move. Mari. Okay, I'll take a corner. Sure. I told my box I told my boss I was cleaning my inbox. Didn't tell him it was on FM. Smart move. Get in there, Louise. Woo! Bulo keeping it alive. Oh, use your right foot, Mari. Use your <sighs> Come on, Mari. Be the maestro that I know you can be at times. Another opportunity. Mari again. Gerardo. That's never going in. That midfield joke was painful. I felt that from here. Nice block. Good clearance. Good start to the game, though. Definitely taking it to him. This has been good stuff. We need more of that. We're going to hit him with some encourage. Let's go. Let's go. We, we started well on the road against a very good team. That is a big-time header by Bulo, and very importantly, he hit it to us. Oh, Falcone. Hmm. Fonseca. Did enough. Okay. Mari. 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 Gonzalez. Full call. I love that play when they get the, the flick header back towards the corner. We are on it. We're on our game. Yeah. Gerardo Gonzalez is good cross. He's a good player. Can we cover? Like, thank you. Seriously, though, you should not like they, they always play up all over the top and then your entire back line doesn't move, but your fullback does. So it's just open if they can get the pass through your fullback. Get there. Fonseca. Get, that was apparently not part of a highlight. So all good in the hood. Well, that touch was just disgustingly good. Oh, oh, Falcone. That was slick, and he's got it back and just skided. Well, it's been a pretty even half, but I think we might just have edged it. Let's make a play and put the ball in the net, shall we? Good. Okay, we just need to get turned around here. Carlotti is the guy that can do that. Mari, Slick, Falcone, good. Why on earth? Oh, that's such a stupid shot, dude. <sighs> yeah, keep it up. Happy with the I'm happy with the performance. 
One or two little shaky moments at the back, but we blocked them. The mid blocks definitely help. They haven't gotten one play from those wing backs. It's been mostly scrambles, kind of set pieces. They had one pass through, but we blocked it. Nice, right up. Good. Good, Ricaro. Keeping pace in the play. I, Norbeck's got it. He's got it. No. Yep, Aiden Orbach, great ball. Dominic Kish just needs you to wrap your left foot around that and put it in the corner. All right, Norbeck. All right, Yepi, good find. Carlotti, slick passing. Davide! Pro anything! Anything, dude. Anything. Oh, he was off. He was off. He was off, apparently. That looked on. Must have been a step early. Oh, good pass. Davide. Oh. Dang it. Okay. I'm going to try something. No, this is working. We're just going to get Davide off for Oscar Hernandez. And then everybody else is playing pretty well. Still has good legs. Nah. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. Dang it. Salvatierra, get in. We're running our surprise tactic on him. There's an opening on that side of the field. I think we can make the most of it. He's also a better set piece taker than uh, Yepi somehow. But he is. All right, Sebastian. Below, get it back to him. Salvatierra. Okay. Ah, but I'm going for it. We're going for all three points away to Newcastle. It'd be a big old dub if we get it. All right, I needed to uh, make the subs before that hit. All right, whole team's tired. So we do have Oliver Martin, and we do have Ryan Bailey with fresh ideas, and we do have Cole Palmer, who I can bring in for Yepi, but he's been he's been good today. Uh, we also have Oscar Hernandez. We've got Rainier. Got a lot of guys. A lot of guys that can do a lot of stuff. So we'll sub out that front of the midfield. Oliver Martin particularly important because we're leaving the left side a little open and it needs to be covered. Thank you. Ricaro. He's got him. Yepi. Make a play. It's just impossible to wedge that. Like you and the defender are just getting there at the same time. Dang, man. Once again, a nil-nil against it. I mean, the draw is fine, but three points. And we could have had it. We could have had the three points. Man, we played a really good second half. Oh. I know it's a good result. It's just... I'm tired of like, oh, you know what? A draw against them is a good result. We can beat them. We can freaking beat them. I need Dominic Kish to do what he does in every game in the few games where it matters the most. That's what I need. Fonseca turned in a 7.1. Bulo <laughs> turned in a 7.0. Great, tidy defensive performance. Bournemouth won again. Are they just playing the children? Like, why are they every team they play is in the bottom half of the league? They better play all of the top six at the end of this. 
Come on. Two teams in the bottom five in the league for Bournemouth. They're six points ahead of us. Chelsea drew Aston Villa. United didn't play, and West Ham lost to Sunderland, which probably removes them from the whole equation, which is fine by me. Ugh, dude. This is why we got to win games like that, right? Because we have City and Liverpool still on the calendar. They're sitting there like, well, it's fine that we can do that because uh... All right, so Brandon Evans can now use both feet, which would should make him a little less turnover prone because he doesn't have to use his left. Also, we didn't get a Bulo fatigue message, which is nice. That is great. Liverpool won. There's six points behind City, though. City's gone. City is gone. They have exploded. All oh, right, they just the new youth intake just hit. So what I should do is come here, go to scouting players, look for English players that aren't in the national pool, look for general info, and we are going to take everybody aged 15-ish. You know, honestly, we probably should put all of these people on the list, but... Not quite. All right, we're going to take all these people and put them in the national pool. For science purposes. For science, science reasons. Incredibly scientific purposes, of course. Also, these people should be in the national pool. There, It seems like there are a few that actually have some decent transfer value that we are not considering for the England national team that we should be. Just managing it. It's ruined City. Yeah, if we beat them and Liverpool wins, then all of a sudden the title race is on. I don't think I've ever beaten Man City. I forget Davide Falcone is only 23. Always think he's like 26 or something. Yuppie Norback deserving of praise after a staff meeting. Love to see it. Great news. To show the Champions League, Europa League are going. Yeah, it wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a bad idea. That doesn't help Bulo recover from his fatigue, picking up a tight thigh. But we don't. We haven't been able to keep up to date with the Champions League happenings because we haven't necessarily been involved in it. We've just so consistent. We've been in the top five of the league. Actually, just the entire year. We've been so consistently strong. I'm proud of us, no matter what happens. All right, Champions League semifinals, Liverpool, Bayern, Man City, Real. Not getting too crazy. Barcelona won it last year. And the whole save, it's been, um, let's see, Liverpool... Enter Liverpool, Newcastle, PSG, City, Barcelona, Real twice, United, Barcelona. So City and Liverpool actually haven't won it in a while, even though they're the two dominant teams in the Prem right now. United and Newcastle have Looking snuck in. Today, Zed. Picked up one apiece. Kish headed for a ward. Young player of the year definitely could be his, but I don't know about that other one. Full of nonsense here. Jaden Adai, no. Robert Toth, no. You know, you know. The guys that aren't tired for some reason but need match sharpness, those are the guys I'm here for. Massimo Young Husband, also. Apparently. All right. Love it, EA. Steven, love it. Youth team players, let's go. 
Real Madrid lost four in five years. Wait, are you serious? Are you serial right now? Hold on. Le Champions League. So, re oh yeah, wow. Oh, wow. They lost the first, dude, they, can you imagine making the Champions League final three years in a row and then losing? And they had one year out of it and then they came back and lost it again and then finally won two. That is crazy. All of that incredible luck and ability they'd had in the tournament to win so many times, it all got paid back immediately. I'm super serial. Wow. You know it's serious when somebody uses that kind of verbiage. <sighs> Warren Zaire Emery, everybody's favorite Leeds United player. Oh, Adam, you don't like big matches, and yet you pop up a lot for me. Do -do 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 -do. Worth Space did that in his Racing Santander YouTube series once. Yikes. Southampton doing a classic. Dude, Southampton's played its way out of relegation up to 15th. They'd have had a tear. Leicester, Sunderland, and Nottingham Forest are looking in trouble. Stoke has survived. Leeds also pulled itself out. So Southampton and Leeds pulled themselves out. Leicester. Have they gone down this? Dude, Leicester hasn't gone down the whole save. This is like the death of Leicester. Nottingham Forest has been a yo-yo club. Last few years, Sunderland's been a yo-yo club. No, oh, what? Oscar got hurt for a month playing that friendly. Just ran it out with the U20, the U18s and had a kick around and got hurt. That, oh, dude. That sucks. We like Oscar Hernandez in this house. Is he in Europe? Not yet. We're working on it. The issue is that Southampton won the League Cup on penalties, so I believe there are only six European spots, unless there is a like Champions League winner amongst us, which is a 50% chance right now that it will be an English team that wins the Champions League. What was it? Bayern City, Liverpool, Real, just classic stuff. Absolutely classic. Oh, he's not even good. Oh, well, then why were you? You're literally you're like, I think I could be a key player for Norway. What are you on? You'd be really a, like, you'd have to absolutely nail your development to ever get called up by Norway at all. Peter Vosbach barely plays for Norway at that position, and I'm pretty sure he's considered better than you ever will be. Could be a key player for Norway. Some of these guys are just tripping. They've got people in their corner telling them how good they're supposed to be and this and that. My homies be tripping. Let's go. Just casually dumpstering on a 15-year-old. Yes. He's not good enough. What do you want from me? Should I scout Southeast Asia? Pretty much the only region in the world I'm not scouting, but I don't see much benefit to it. It's not the worst region in the world, so I'm kind of surprised you're not scouting it because Thailand in particular does have a high enough youth rating to warrant some consideration and will produce, uh, you know, one or two decent players. It's not one of the better regions, but it's certainly not the worst region on the map. Oh, Palmer can't play his, uh, yeah, his, he, he can't play his fellow adults. Is Kelly Putters learning how to play that position we want him to at all? No. Not really, boss. All right. Ben Stevens, since that's the only other guy down here that I would be okay putting on the field. Right, so I'm playing Manchester City. They're playing a 4-2-3-1 with Erling Holland at the top of it. And we are going to play mid-block, take away their ability to facilitate from the wings, and counter-punch hard. 
And that is the goal. I like the way we played out of this last time. Um, we're going to play with the same setup again. Here's to David Bulo being able to actually make it through this match without barfing up a lung. Okay. Showtime. It's our chance for revenge, baby. Our chance for revenge. Also, Dominic Kish, I have faith in you. You, you beautiful man. Let's get it. This is gravy. We are tied on points with Newcastle for fourth in the yeah, that Champions League spot right there. If we win this match, this is three points that we probably didn't expect to find, but we are at home. We're at the Bristol Stadium. The Bristol City Stadium, which is a very kind place to us. Holland's hurt. Oh, well, he's like minorly hurt. On I, I like had the little okay. Isn't fifth going to the UCL? No. If if one of the English teams wins, then fifth does go to the UCL, as far as I understand it. But I haven't really managed a ton in the Prem. I did last year in the network save with Wolves for a little bit, but it's not like a league I have a ton of experience managing in. Which is very not football manager of me. No, we just got to take him out. No, it doesn't? Okay. Well, and I mean, our goal is to get to top four anyways. I, I mean, it's his 51st goal of the season. And if that happens, we're just going to have to live with it. Like, if that happens, we just have to live with it. Give up an Erling Holland goal off a corner. We've kept the ball well. We just need to keep playing confident. Surprised he didn't go to the fullback there. Bulo should. Or he'll make Ricaro do it. But Ted Kurd is definitely known for playing the fullback. Oh, it's a good ball. That was a difficult defensive play. Oh, what a pass! I, I just want I, yeah, I just want to take a moment to appreciate it because this was a beautiful play. I don't really blame him for not scoring it. Great ball by Maori. Norback hit it with the per just perfect shape of the ball. Unlucky, it hit the post and came back out. What a pass by Mari. There you go, Ted. Get that away for a throw. Well done. Come on now. This would be something if we come back against Man City. Kish. Dom. Dang it. Bournemouth's playing Liverpool this week. Well, that's nice. <laughs> While we're playing City. Can't catch a break against those guys. It's just a sucks for him. <sighs> yeah, I mean, uh, shoot, we're going toe to toe with him. I mean, maybe he had the best chance of the match. They just had Erling Holland vacuum seal himself to a corner kick and staple it to the back of the net. 
All right, we actually looked really good the last time we were here. Good from Fonseca. Good to get it up to Carlotti. They're super aggressive, so there is space. Not if you make that pass, though. That's all right. That's all right. We oh, Bulo. Good step, Gonzalez. Gerardo Gonzalez making plays. mari has got him. Ma no, no. Why? Just let the ball go, brother. Just let the ball go. You can run under it. Oh, Falcone almost managed to put it away again, but Falcone is not fast. It's not his game to run beyond people. And we don't want to try and create some expectation that Davide is going to run beyond people. It's not, he's not supposed to be able to do that. Oh, get it back to him. Yepi. Yepi Norbeck. Oh, oh we're playing. We're balling. We're freaking. We're here. We're there. We're doing it. Come on, Davide. Come on, Davide. Don't bottle him up and then just hand this. Oh, God. I know I have two world-class center backs, but it's Erling Holland, lads. And he's standing right there. Oh, Mari is the key right now, dude. He's the guy that's finding the passes. Thank you, Carlotti. Falcone's done really well in a tough spot. Help us advance this ball. Dom Kish, there's a chance here. Evans, Mari, he's going to have this. No, Kish, why? Dude, you're making every wrong decision, Dom. Come on, Dom. Need you to do something. Oh, Mari. Uh, leave it, Gerardo. Yep, yep, he's... No, Gerardo, don't go. That's good. Fonseca's falling in love with this move back to Bulo, but it works every time. And I want to play up the Carlotti side. It's just, there's nothing wrong with Gerardo. Carlotti's just better with the ball. Good. Evans... I don't want to see us play that pass if there's just not room. I mean, if there's room in behind, then sure, play that pass. Oh, he just got beat. That's the first time they've gotten, like, an actually good chance in this entire game. All right. All right, we have Ryan Bailey. He's actually a better passer than Davide Falcone, so we'll try him there. We do have Oliver Martin as uh, a guy. Andrea Carlotti actually is a pretty... Terrible, pretty abysmal match rating. Yepi Norback's not doing well either. But we just don't have a lot of wing subs in this game, so I'm going to go with Bailey on that left side uh, because Adai is hurt, um, Oscar Hernandez is hurt, and Cole Palmer is unable to play against his parent club. So maybe a cheeky late Salvatierra sub. I actually kind of like the way we're doing this, though. Except that last play, obviously, where we f we finally gave them a chance in towards the goal. All right, Dom. I know you're a special player, but I need you to be special now. Well, they brought in Rod Reynolds off the bench. That's horrifying. That dude is so fast. Where'd they put him? Oh, it's striker. Actually, that is great. Erling Holland is out. They're saving him for the rest of uh, the run or something. Erling Holland is off the field. Ay, 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 ay. Rod Reynolds can fly, but we're going to go attacking and then we'll make subs and push at 75 minutes. I would love if we were doing that for the win instead of the draw. Oh, yepi. Andy was off. Brought Foden off the bench, too. I just rotated their whole front. <sighs> okay. We have Oliver Martin, who's going to come in in this spot. We have Robert Toth, who's going to come in for Carlotti and be a wingback. And Gerardo Gonzalez is going to wingback it up as well. Actually, no, he's not because he's freaking out. So we're going to bring in Vosbach for Gerardo and have him be a fullback on support. Don't know why my fullbacks just lost the plot today. 
And then we are going to bring in Kelly Putters for Rafael Ricaro. And we are going to take Kelly Putters, and we are going to put him up here, and he is going to annoy the defense. And then we're going to take... Yeah, that's basically it. And we're going to play with a much higher line, and... We're going to send it. We'll still play out of the bag because we'll have the numbers up that if we actually are able to pass our way through the press, we're in business. Subs! There you go, Dom. Oh, baby. Here we go. Evans. He's got him! Dom Kish! We have been so close to so many huge moments this season and so close to so many huge moments where we can I we, we, we just miss chances against we, we just miss chances against big teams. We don't have a killer instinct against big teams at all. And now we're going for it. Way to keep that in, Vosbach. Look at the line there, yuppie. That's fine. Dude, just go back to Fonseca. He can get it to the midfielder that you can't pass to right now. Thank you. All right, Kish tried to make the run, didn't open up. Okay, Bulo, Oliver Martin, Bulo. Could look long here. That's a good pass. It's open. That wasn't what I was talking about, but okay, here we are, Norbeck. Looking for Kish! Oh, what a save! Oh. What older players do better? No, because we can't sign older players that are this talented. Because they all cost $100 million. Nice pass. Come on, Dom. Come on, Dom. It's just not the game today. I wish I don't have any more subs. I'd bring in Salvatierra if I could. It's just not his game. All right, come on, boys. We're doing a really good job of creating here down the stretch now. We're, like, tied in XG with freaking Manchester City right now. It's an absolutely unbelievable performance, but we just haven't been able to score it. Oh, Vosbach, that was nearly an amazing play. Uh, yeah, we just kind of have to hope he... No, we blocked that. We've also hit the post twice on two chances that we really could have scored. That's hurt. Just throw an encourage and hopefully we get something here. I'll actually, I'll toss one more change in there. We'll just throw uh, throw Mari up there. Have Yepi be a little more aggressive in his positioning. And there you go. That's just about as aggressive as, as we can get without completely screwing ourselves. All right, Kelly, make a pass. Get it off your foot. Get it off your foot. Good. Mari, go in. Dude, we just can't shoot. We just cannot shoot. I mean, he is walking in on goal. And I just, I mean, such a bad hit of the ball. Unbelievable. We out x sheet him. Oh, that is just brutal. I mean, it's by .04, but a loss is a very harsh. It just can't, it can't keep happening. Something's got to change. Dom Kish might be terrified of big matches. Uh, like, I don't know what it is, but we're, we're playing well enough to beat 
basically everybody we play. And now establishing a pattern of being unable to do it. Newcastle won. Uh, West Ham lost again, so they're out of it. Chelsea lost to Leicester, who were quite literally in last place, so they're doing everything they can to keep us in the picture. United won, so they have now jumped into European places, and Bournemouth did lose. They were playing against Liverpool and got absolutely thrashed. But them getting absolutely thrashed and us losing 1-0, they count the same. They count all the same. Hey, Dominic, you're going to love this one. You're going to score five goals today, dude. We're playing a team that's not good. Stop shaking like a leaf. Uh, da, 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 da. Falcone's happy to stay? Cool. Now we're all good. Even Davide Falcone acknowledges that life here is good and that playing regularly for this team is great, even though we broke a promise. So even though we broke a promise, he ended up being happy to stay here by mid-April. That's that's honestly a pretty good conversion rate. Okay, Carlotti. Love the development, man. Oh, I'm so tired of drawing, dude, and losing. Brutal. Yeah, no. You aren't very good, brother. Did you? Did it? Do did it? Do 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 do. Everybody I can remove from our loan shortlist saves our staff a little bit of time. How many matches left in the season? Five. There are five matches left in the season. Uh, we've got Stoke, Liverpool, Tottenham, Nottingham, and Arsenal. Tottenham and Arsenal are actually not concerns because those teams are not actually that good this year. Particularly Tottenham. I No, Bulo, my God. Dude had been hurt once. Literally hurt once in three years. He just bruised his shoulder. And he's going to miss the Stoke game. He's probably going to miss the next two games with that. When am I naming the World Cup squad? May 16th? Yeah. That sounds right. That sounds like very far away from now, which begs the question, why are you talking about it now? Obviously, I'm naming... Naming that. Uh, sign Art Aguilar. Yeah, dude, it's 2034. I'll totally do that. Newcastle lost. Bournemouth won. Because once again, they were playing the local YMCA. And Manchester United, they're the team that beat Newcastle. So that just creates a bit of a traffic jam. Yeah, Arbon, I know who Art Aguilar is. He's a very, very good young player. He'll transition to Germany and either become a world-class number 10 or he will fade into nothing. There are two options now. Sign Pulisic? Dude, I'm on it. I'm there. All you had to say was Pulisic. I'm already there. The XG table plane reminds me. No, the season where we finished seventh and missed the championship playoffs, but we were we got promoted on XG. That was the year you're thinking of. That was that was like the year. That was the ultimate year of XG pain. No, I think we're probably third in the league on XG, so it's not crazy. It's just uh You know, it, it, we uh, we just need to put the ball in the net just need to take our chances like even down to Mari it's not all like Yepi Norback hit the post when he was kind of in on goal 
It's not just Dominic Kish, but I am going to make fun of Dominic Kish until he proves he can do it. And the games against the big teams. Because at first I was like, oh, he's just like kind of isolated in our tactic. But no, we're getting him in. And he's making the runs to get in. And he's such an amazing player. Like he's got to be able to put the ball in the net against these teams. Against the really, really, really good teams he has to score. He's such a ridiculous player. Absolutely redonkulous. Ricaro completes intensive language course. That's awesome. Our scholars. Nations League A draw. All right, dude. Croatia, Slovenia, and Spain. Pretty standard A group, but how the heck did Slovenia make it into Nations League A? Ireland is in Nations League. Northern I... Give it up. Give it up to Northern Ireland, bro. Nations League A, Northern Ireland and Ireland are in Nations League A. The rest of Nations League A is not that surprising. Romania had a pretty good qualifying. But Northern Ireland and Ireland and Slovenia. Not even Slovakia, bro. Slovenia. Luka Doncic up top. Why can we not finish any of these scouting reports on these guys? All I want to do is know how good those guys are. All I want. All I need is to know how good that guy is. Basically, just as good as the original. How's Sweden doing? Well, they're not Nations League A. And I'm pretty sure they missed the World Cup. So did Norway. I'm pretty sure. Didn't they? But Sweden is still they're still good. Like they're right on the they're right on the edge of the World Cup. But I don't think they're at their high water mark. Do you still do that thing where you say in the name Yeah, I do. We we pray to the FM gods. We try to keep them appeased. We'll probably be praying to them at some point today, but there are five matches left in the season, so. All right, do we look at our schedule? Oh, we don't have our fixture congestion yet. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. It's next week. Oh, cool. Bilo will be fine. Is he okay? Oh, I'm actually totally playing him today. For sure. David Bulo is playing today. This is too important at the end of the season. David Bulo is playing through his bruised shoulder. Come on, man. Get it together. Get it together, David. Get it together. Oliver Martin, you are in for Brandon Evans today. Thank you for your time and your consideration. No, you're not. Uh, we will start Mari and Brandon Evans, and we are going to put Brandon Evans on attack, and we are going to put you on support, and we are going to put this on positive, and that line is going up, and that line is going up, and we are going to absolutely get after them today. I am not sticking around. We need to be more aggressive against bad teams, and gosh darn toot and dang it, I am going to be more aggressive here. I need Cole Palmer on the bench. I need Jaden Die on the bench. That's no more Kelly Putzers, even though he was, once again, very helpful. All right, I'm going to drop Doyle. I don't sub in Doyle at all. Uh, I've, I, I just, look, I like Tommy Doyle, but for whatever reason, I just don't sub him in at all. So Kelly Putzers is more likely to be used in this game. That's my observation. What was the city score? We lost 1 0, but we played in an encouraging fashion. We had a lot of chances. I'm expecting a win today. We'll put a little pressure on the lads. I'm not going to overuse the I have faith in you. Come on, boys. Give me three points today. We got to reel somebody in to get to those Champions League spots again. They've lost five straight. Tell me more. Poker, thank you for the, uh, for the uh, nine months. What are we naming our kid? Makuti. Makuti sounds good. That sounds entirely reasonable. I'm going to Twitch plug in to always check your table. 
You surely know one to uh, know somebody to make such. I actually don't. I don't know how I would go about making that plugin, but that is a freaking amazing idea to make a plugin that allows you to check season stats and check uh, the table. Oh, Bulo! Don't think we can really aggravate a bruised shoulder. This isn't a muscle injury, so I think he'll be fine. That's another reason I'm, I've got him out there. Mari, yuppie. There's a pass here. It's Evans, the extra runner. That's a pin. Hi, mamma mia, zabanda, Don't ask. I have no idea. Dom, do it. That's a pen, ref. Guzzi, thank you for the five months. Gabagool! Nice run by Brandon Evans. Good pass by Yep and Odebeck. See you later, Nimchenko. Boris. Right in. Out. Shelf it. There you go, big dog. There you go, big dog. And the Bristol City Stadium is in raptures. It's Dominic Kish who has put the ball in the back of the net. For Taunton Town. Oh, Ricaro, you dirty dog. Good ball. That was a great run by Brandon Evans, too. That's center mid on attack, man. Definitely helpful against these bad teams, for sure. Oh, Mari. Give me that run to V-Day now that you're all happy and stuff. He should be playing better. Whoop! Whoop! Carlotti. Yes, Ricaro. Brandon Evans. Still doesn't trust his right foot, but at least he can use it. Mari. Ricaro. Still knocking it about. Yepi. Gonzalez in a pocket. Mari on that left foot. That hit us, really. Get out of the way. What, not a good pen, to be honest? I mean, you know, they, you send them the wrong way, put it down the middle, it's fine. It's not the, the hottest way to score a penalty, but it does work. Wide line. Oh. The defense is actually really good there. There was nowhere for Falcone to go with that ball except for backwards. Yepi Norback absolutely eviscerating their left back. Oh, but he recovered and then made a terrible pass. And oh, yo. He was off, really. Oh, Kesh was offside chasing the rebound. The goal would have stood. Oh, Mari. Easy for all Yepi Norback. Ricaro, Yepi. Oh, it's there. What a pass. Dominic Kish. Just a little off his game right now. He is just a little off his game. He favors his left. He really, that was an obvious opportunity to just bring that through to his left foot and pick any spot he wanted. But he went with the weak right foot instead. He's got that he's at 18 first touch, man. He really. I feel like he'd be able to get that ball positioned wherever he wanted to. Wins are all that matter now, and we are winning. Carlotti, thank you. Kone, good. Okay, we'll just play in tight spaces. Ooh, cheeky. Was bold. Oh, Evans picks his pot. Oh, come on. Goal! He's a little off his game. Just, just a little off his game. Hasn't quite looked right on the field recently. He, you know what? He just gave the ball a little kiss. He saw the goalkeeper coming out. He just gave the ball a little smooch. Though so that is. Sorry. Do you guys realize? what just happened on the field, like how unbelievably nasty that was. That is so good. This is a nice angle for it. Like, just receives the ball, turns, goalkeeper's coming out. He's like, up, ah, boop. 
Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's only one striker for all our needs, that's for sure. Nice save. And that was right under the bar, too. I mean, he did not leave himself a lot of margin for error there. He made sure that absolutely nobody was getting that. Oh, my goodness. Ponseca, I'm sorry, you got to win this header. There's no way you lose this to Shola Shortire. This is a cross that gets deflected up into the air. I, and he's trying to play it with his foot for some reason instead of heading the ball. Oh, that's a weird goal. Oh, yep, eight. Oh, they have Gerd Daly. I had Gerd Daly on my shortlist for a while. He's a good player. And Boris Dimshenko. They're going to give this ball away. You can just smell it. They look very uncomfortable with it. And there it is. That was a great pass, Dom Kish. And it's a hat trick for Dom. I told you. What did I tell him? I was like, yeah, dude, you should be excited. We're about to play a team that sucks. You're going to score like a hat trick. You're going to score a bunch of goals. We're playing a bad team. And that's what he's done. It's What's really good here is the way he slows down just a little bit to let that center back kind of fly by him and then just whips it with pace. Dom Kiss just eating Stoke alive right now. Yeah, that flukish goal that we conceded, but come on, Fonseca. None that counts as him, like, misreading the play that he tried to play that with his foot or something. And I don't know who blocked that shot, but they were terrible. Yeah, he really just tried to shoot that through the keeper. The keeper just didn't get, like, his, his body wasn't angled the right way, and it just went off him and in. Smash it as hard as you can. Oh, the record of goals in a match that you watched? Uh, in the World Cup with Austria. Dude, what is going on? I feel like we're in complete control of this game, and it's 3-2. That's a screamer. I realize comfort's a little too much to ask for at home against the 17th place team in the league, but my goodness. Nice. Davide. With his newfound happiness. Davide! Oh! Stoke heard you call them rubbish. Yeah, well, everybody here is a Premier League team, which I, they always, like, every team you play against in the Prem always has a chance to score a goal at any time because they've got guys in the field that are good enough to just do that, right? And he did have a pretty big opening to shoot that. Gotta love the set pieces. All right, Gerardo, Riquero, bold. A bold strike from Rafael Riquero. Thank you, Davide. Play him. There's an obvious pass to Evans. Okay. He sees the play. He's got Yepi Norbeck. He's got Dom Kish in the box. Going back to Riquero again so he can just end the attack. Very helpful of him to, you know, help out Stoke. Very kind. Carlotti playing another terrible match. Which is great. Um, subs. So, 
Let's try... Davide is only a 6.7. We're going to go with support on this side. The lines worked. Uh, we'll go with Toth and then go with a fullback on support. We're going to use you as a fullback on support as well. Bulo's dragging a bit. And Mari, we can get out for Oliver Martin. Although Mari had... I thought he'd been pretty good today, but apparently he hadn't been that good. And we'll also go with Cole Palmer or Yepi Norbeck. And I think our best defensive move is to just keep them under pressure. Thank you, Carlotti. That was terrible. Subs. Subs, subs. I think if we invite pressure, that might cause more problems than it solves. Because they haven't done anything from the run of play in this game. All right, Dom fourth. Dang it. They haven't done one thing from the run of play that's caused us problems the whole game. It's just those... Two set pieces, they made plays. Oh, Gerardo, good. Dom, what? What? Again, 18 first touch. What was that? Oh, Fonseca, why on earth would you head it that way? So many possession opportunities back here. Cole Palmer. It's a good idea to have Dom Kiss run against anybody on their defense, honestly. We'll take that. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, Oliver Martin, Palmer, Kish, Toth, Bailey. Oh, Ricaro. Bailey, Evans. Dang it. Oh, yes, let's go, Dom. Oh, and it's Palmer, and we didn't score somehow, but I like the passing. We shared the rock. Take off Bulo. Absolutely not. It's a one-goal game. What I will do is do that and turn on time-wasting and then regroup and do that. But I do not want to lower... Oh, my goodness, that almost went in. I do not want to lower our lines. We want to keep them under pressure. There you go. As then we prevent short goalkeeper distribution. We just win the ball back. And then Cole Palmer passes it to no one. Which is a neat little trick of his. Ricaro. Okay, we're going long on low tempo with time wasting. Sounds good. Oh, let's go, Toth. If we were up multiple goals, I'd take Bulo off, by the way. Like, it's not a terrible thought process. Obviously, we trust Vosbach. Bulo's got a bruised shoulder. But now we're, we're, we're riding with this. Okay, she's going to make a pass. It's Bailey. Oh, nice finish. He's on. That's four. There we go. Ryan Bailey to make it 4-2. Wait, he just got a yellow card? Did he, like, take his shirt off or something? What? Bailey just, you know, did he already have a yellow card and it just glitched out and popped up? Uh, Sabulo so off now? Yes. Good thinking, good thinking, good thinking. Correct move. We get Bulo off for Vazbach. We don't want to give him any chance to get hurt. It said he had one at 75. Okay, yeah, it just glitched out. Then I was like, I have never seen somebody get a yellow card after scoring a goal. Must have done something crazy. Oh, he's going for four. He's going for four. They should add that. Be absolutely infuriating if you got like screw if you got screwed by that. 
Oh, nice. Nice result. Nice. Re like, that is a game. We're at home against the 17th team in the league in a race for Champions League spots. It has to be a win, right? And it was a win. And we won the game, and we're happy about it. Good stuff. Had to be a win. It was a win. Four matches left. One match at a time. Absolutely everything we can do to win that one match that we're playing. Come on, Andrea Carlotti. We need a little more from you. All righty. Everybody else won. That's great news. Oh, no, Bournemouth drew. So, hey, we win. We're only four points off of Bournemouth. This could get very awkward for Bournemouth. Chelsea won against Nottingham Forest. Um, United beat Liverpool. Are you serious? Liverpool, how could you? You're one of the teams we should be able to count on. Newcastle beat Arsenal, which is just terrible news. West Ham is definitely officially out of it at this point. But everybody won. We've got our match in hand coming up soon. Evans fitness concern? That's new. Give you a week off, bud. You take that week off of training because now we've got Liverpool coming up and we're going to need everybody because it's at Anfield. Do, 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 do. Not able to perform well at his new position. Cool, that's all we needed. We'll go back to working you out as a midfielder. A central midfielder. Oh, I guess that was top half finish promises. Oh, yeah, there we go. Easy. Easy. Wow, we are actually almost done with promises. We have one with Oliver Martin to uh, qualify for continental soccer, which is supposed to happen at the end of next season, but we're in line for that. Carlotti and Oliver Martin are satisfied we finished top half. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Guaranteed top half finish in the Premier League for the first time. Ice Warrior DK now speaks English. Nice. 160,000 for reaching 25 league goals this year. Definitely didn't think I'd be paying that out. Not sad that I am either. Definitely not sad that I am paying it out. All right, let's run another little recovery in here. We're just basically not really going to train that week and try and keep our team as fit as possible. Scott Candage approaching retirement. True. Hey, we made $30,000 last month. Let's go. Stonks. Not even losing money in a regular month in the year. Kish claims the April player of the month. Well, yeah, the dude had two separate hat tricks, I think, against bad teams. And, of course, he was young player of the month. Andrea Carlotti's goal was third in goal of the month. Are you serious? That was nasty. Rafael Riquera should be discouraged from trying to get forward. I actually agree with that. Oh, does he have get forward whenever possible? Yeah, I feel like we should maybe limit that a little bit because he's not. I mean, he's just he's got 11 work rate, 14 stamina. He's got some athleticism, but like. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna work to remove that. He's a halfback, man. We want him to set the lid on things. We, he does go flying into the box sometimes, and I'm like, where are you going? Exactly. What's the plan here? You have a prospectus. David Miller, thank you so much for the year. I appreciate it a lot. <sighs> Financially secure or insecure? Okay. Actually, we're in the middle. We are classed as financially okay. Why don't you play Bulo as a defensive midfielder? Because he's an amazing center back, and we have an amazing defensive midfielder, but we do not, however, have an amazing left-footed center back other than David Bulo, who has 20 caps for Germany at the age of 21. 
which is incredible the more you think about it. He has 20 caps for Germany at the age of 21. 20 caps. 2-0. That's dumb. Absolutely stupid. He's going to end up with like 130 caps for Germany or something as long as he avoids major season-long injuries. Those are, those are like Jude Bellingham national team numbers, actually. Like, that's just what those are. Fatih Chiefchi is a center back, first and for He's a fullback, first and foremost. And not enough of one to where we're down. And Franco will remove you. Keanu Lorenzo. Still, I think he's pretty good. I think there are players on our team that are worse than Keanu Lorenzo. Amen. German delict, yeah, kind of. Except the German national team's even crazier than the Dutch one, right? Like it's <laughs> the German national team is one of the hardest national teams to carve out a regular role in in the world, and he just he cooks, he absolutely cooks. No other way around it. All right, Massimo, we'll we'll run everybody. I think this is everybody that doesn't regularly start, and they definitely you know match sharpness very important. We'll give them all an opportunity. Brandon Evans making positive developments, improving his anticipation dramatically. Like to see that. Are we still fourth? Now we're in sixth. I mean, we're right next to fourth. We have a match in hand that if we win, we'll be in fifth. This is not the match in hand, though. Everybody will play this Saturday. And then we play Tottenham on Wednesday. And then we have a match the next weekend. And then we have a week off, and then we have our final match of the season. That's, that's the layout. Four matches in May to make or break where we're going to end up this year. Now, if we win this one, that's an extra three points, right? Because away to Tottenham, we absolutely can win. Tottenham's a mid-table mess this year. And then we have, I believe, an easier match against Nottingham Forest at home. And then we play away against Arsenal, who are also a mid-table mess this year. There are two big seven teams that are, like, out of the running and it's Arsenal and Tottenham. North London in the mud. Jarrell Kwanzaa singing Dominic Kish's praises. Look, if Dom Kish scores in this match, I will leave him alone. All he's got to do. Typical user, thank you for the six months. Appreciate it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Decision time for England coach. Oh, wait. I'm going to announce my World Cup England squad like right before the final match of the season. That's harsh, actually. That's going to be tough. I'm back, baby. That's going to be a tough decision because we've been a little willy-nilly with our last few call-ups, looking at a few players, but deciding who you're going to call up for your World Cup team is a completely different level of thinking that needs to happen. Like, are we going to bring a second natural striker? Are we just going to play with Robbie Blackburn? But there's so much fixture congestion. We probably need like a Kofi Adai. I'm already getting lost in that decision-making process. We need to focus up. I have three matches before that. And they're, you know, they're a little important. Not really. I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I really hope Bournemouth starts to choke because I feel like they're the best chance to choke. I mean, Newcastle and United just picked up monster wins against big seven teams, which is super frustrating. But hey, that's the level. We've got to be able to pick up those monster wins too. Chris, thank you so much for 23 months. Random Twitch follower. Not so random anymore. 11 months. You're almost at you know, that golden bacon. Should we not talk to the team that might be stressed they're in a Champions League race? Like I, Our expectations in terms of the team are a giant mystery. Um, our current season was just to become an established Premier League team. We have accomplished that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think a team meeting is in order. Team meetings scare the bejesus out of me because they hold great power. If we were in a title race, that'd be different. But we're not. They're not doing like the title race pop up thing. Um, all right. <sighs> 
Fullbacks on support, please. Center mid on support, please. I think they play 4-3-3. They do, so we'll just... What we've learned is that this is an effective way to cope with that on the road. This is a very difficult game. It's a very difficult game, and we need to show up and play some fantastic ball if we're going to accomplish our goal. We can win. This It will be very difficult to win. We're going to have to play one of our best games of the year. But my goodness, I know we can win. Come on, boys. Friggin' come on, boys. Revenge? Absolutely. I trust you? Absolutely. I trust you? Friggin' go, dude. Tried to go to the Prem, then lost five in a row. Yeah, that was, I was playing for a title. The title pressure is one thing. Um, I haven't. I also haven't seen us playing bad. You know what I mean? I think we've played like the type of ball we've played and controlled and chances created. We've all been played pretty well. <sighs> Time to show Milson what's up. Is he playing today? No, he's not. Oh, they've. This is a weird team. This is not their normal team. That's great news. Who's this guy? How did I not know you existed until now? Oh, that's so cool. A New Zealand dude of Chinese origin who's got 84 New Zealand caps and is a solid regular player for Liverpool in the Prem in the Champions League. No, this isn't. This is not their first team. This is not their first team. No, Liverpool has, in my opinion, the best player in the world, Cisneros. He's not on. He's not on the field. Wadro goes one of the best players in the world. He is on the field. Ruben Schmetz is really good, but he's not their number one striker. Uh, nice, good work, Kurd. All right, Dominic Kish, make a run. Yepi Norback walking the defender. That's nice. Gonzalez, what are you doing over there? Dilo, spreading the love. Carlotti. Oi. You know, I, I know he didn't pull it off. But that's not a bad spot for our team to end up in. Very cool Kiwi, yes. Very cool Kiwi. We stand New Zealand here. Falcone. Hold up play on the wing for Carlotti. Back to Falcone. Oh, we're a little on. We're on to something. Carlotti to Kish. Well, we're looking confident. Building play the way we're supposed to be able to build play in Anfield. Let's freaking do it. Let's freaking do it. Mari. Nice. Carlotti again, incredibly rambunctious for a uh, fullback on support. Mari, step into it. Oh. Let's say go. Evans, fine. Evans just made the decision to go with Wad Drogo and just let that dude walk in. It's just bad. It's just bad decision making. That 
Evans stayed with the guy at the edge of the box who didn't have the ball and let that guy just walk in. Nice header. What is that? Mari, come on. Maybe stay disciplined. Good spot for Bulo to be in. Shut that down. It's an own goal because it, it just blasted off of uh, Ricaro. But it, 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 it's not like an unlucky own goal. It's one of those where, like, it, it's an own goal technically, but we just opened up. We came apart. Good save. I was worried about that. Evans, unbelievable hard worker. He has somehow won this ball. And then just so stupid. Irredeemably stupid. <sighs> Unlucky talk for sure. Um, go with Bailey. And uh, Oliver Martin will put Evans in that spot. Because Evans, against the odds, is actually a fantastic playmaker on paper. All right, boys, come on. Good pass. Well, I guess it hooked a little too much, but good idea. Doing a good job defending most of this game. Just haven't, uh, we were pretty creative in the first 20 minutes and that's just not existed since. Oh, there's no logic on that pass. Carlotti, that's fine. All right, Gonzalez. Gerardo. Missed a couple opportunities to take this ball away. The Dom Kish hates big matches. There's no, like, he just does. There's no other explanation for it. He vanishes. The guy just hates big matches. That sucks. All right, get him out. Um, let's go with the old Salvatierra for Ricaro substitution. I'll just roll the dice with having those guys back there. We'll have you on this side. So the cross is from Nor. Actually, no. The cross is from Norback. will be there. But that's what we want instead. And you are box to boxing it. And Evans, you are advanced playmaker on attack, brother. Because we are down two goals and we need to go for it. 
Now, they do have a deeper lying forward, so I think we might be able to get away with for like this portion of the game. Playing a little further forward. Bro, that dude cannot be more than 5'7". Not only did he win the header, he lobbed the keeper with the header. That is just an inexplicably atrocious goal to concede. Yeah, I'm not surprised Kurd's rating's terrible. They have 0.74 XG and three goals. Uh, you don't really blame him, though, for anything. First two goals, the ball was just bouncing all over the place, and they jumped on it. The ability we had early in the season to beat good teams, it just doesn't exist right now. And we really need it down the stretch. It just doesn't exist right now. Be more direct. We're going to pull off an absolute miracle and pull a point out of a hat here. Probably going to do it because we're just hitting the ball over the top and winning a few moves. That was didn't need to be that difficult, Salvatierra. He went through the keeper's legs. Yeah, Ted Curd playing terribly. Well, I mean, if we score on this highlight, then I'm going to cook up something ridiculous. That's offside? What? In a what universe? That looked totally fine. We're there. Thank you. Don't hate that, Ted. I don't hate that. Just a little far. Well, Kelly Putters doesn't have the wheels that the other guys have. Dude, what is Ted Kerr doing? Are you joking? This is not hard. I mean, he's like Swiss cheese back there today. All you got to do is shoot. I mean, that is not like close to the post or a wide open angle at all the dude has to take it first time because the defense is getting there we literally out xg them in this game which is a hilarious i don't necessarily think we deserved anything from it but ted mm -hmm. he had a 6.1 yeah okay All right, well, the good news is Newcastle lost, United lost to Bournemouth, who are basically safe in the Champions League, unbelievably. Uh, Newcastle drew Nottingham Forest away, and Chelsea did win. So if we win our match in hand against Tottenham, we are in fifth, and we are one point out of Champions League going into the last two matches. And that's not a bad spot to be in. So we got a little fortunate with the results that went around. Um, Beulah is going to take another week off training, and he is also not playing in the next match. We do know that. We are aware of that. That was that has been planned for. Now, I do hope Fonseca will be able to play against Tottenham. My hope is Fonseca will be ready. We do have two travel slots, which isn't fun. Uh, I've never really tried fines, but I kind of want to do it to him because that was terrible. 
How do you find? I actually don't know how to find. Somebody want to tell me? Disciplined player for poor performance. Fine a day's wages. I don't know what's like an acceptable amount to find. One week or two. I'm going to go a half week. Cool. Isn't that supposed to, like, be a work rate hack? Yeah. That's, like, the work rate hack. If you find players for poor performance, it, like, ups their work rate every time. All right. Two winnable games coming up. Away to Tottenham and then at home against Nottingham Forest. We got to put wins on the board, though. If we draw this match, we're still alive, depending on other results. But a win in this match puts us right into the conversation. A point out of Champions League with two matches left. So as long as we get a dropped point from Newcastle, we can battle our way into that Champions League position. All right, how's everybody doing? Are we rested? Are we tired? Are we... We're going to be fine. Yeah, we have another day. Boys look all rat. No, all rat, all rat, all rat. I never find players for poor performance. I mean, I've known for a long time. I've uh, clearly never done it. That's like legitimately the first time I've ever find a player for poor performance. Um, but I do know that finding players for poor performance ups their work rate. But it's always been a theoretical advantage. And certain people have figured out how to kind of gimmick it, where, like, if you really want to up somebody's work rate every single time they play below, like, a 6.5, you figure out where the line is, where they'll get mad or not. Then you just find them every single time. And it's like, you can actually add a ton of points to their work rate. Because they're worried about losing their freaking wage. I'm surprised it's in the game, honestly. I feel like, I mean, I'm not surprised it's in the game. I'm surprised it's so effective in the game because I feel like it's one of those things where it exists in real life, but it's not nearly as frequent as you can make it in the game. Feels like cheating. I mean, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's cheating, right? You're using the game. You're under, you know, you have an understanding of how the game works and you're using it. It's not cheating. But it is definitely, it's one of those things where it's like, if you game it out to that extent, it just feels a little weird to me. But you ever, I mean, this is a game. Play it in a way that's fun to you. Right? I'm not going to judge anybody that, that does that. It's totally in the game and totally usable. And Bulo, you are not playing today so that you will be ready for the next match because I know you won't be ready for the next match if you play today. Also... We're starting Robert Toth because we like Robert Toth and Carlotti will not be able to play the next game if he plays today. Same with Brandon Evans. Let's roll, baby. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to play positive. Screw these dudes, am I right? I'm playing positive. I'm going to go out and play like we are the better team because I do believe that for the most part, uh, outside of a few players that they have, we actually have a more talented team together on the field. So let's make the most of it. Um, no, Fonseca, sorry. We're just going to play you as a central defender today. Hope you're okay with that. All right, this is going to be fun. This is by far the most important the game of the year, and it is Tottenham away. Let's go have a great time. Let's have a fun time. You know, by the way, Dominic, it is Tottenham. So we're not playing against a big club here. We're playing against Tottenham. All right. So, Dominic, that means hat trick. That means hat trick, Dominic. That means hat. No, 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 no. Guys, play along. He can only score against not big clubs here. Will you help me out? All right. I get it. If you're a Tottenham fan, I'm sorry, but we're trying to score here. This is the game in hand. Yeah, this is, this is the game in hand. 
Nobody else should be playing today except for the other teams that have games in hand. Uh, okay. We need to convince Dominic Kish we're playing a not big team so that he'll deliver. All right. That's part of the game. Nice, Yepi. Nice. Spreading the love to Toth, who gets forward whenever possible. Falcone. Ref. All righty. Back post it is. Well defended as well. Roquero. Maori. Gonzalez. They're playing Schlupp as a defensive midfielder. Schlupp is a very, very good center back. So that's interesting. I'm also glad he's not, like, dealing. He's not marking Kish, necessarily. He's, he's out of the way. Well, Gerardo Gonzalez recovered that pretty well. Nice play. Okay. That was weird. Felt like he was uncomfortable there. You can tell they spent their money in the stadium. No, I mean, Tottenham, I th think, was in Europe this year. Top seven last year. They're, oh, my goodness. <sighs> Dang. That is a bad time to give up a corner kick goal. Caro, nice Mari, nice Kish. He's like really, really. He's about as offside as I am, and I'm in New York, and you're in England. Norback does love to sky it from there. All right, here we go. Here we go, Mari Kish. Will come from behind dub when it matters most. That's where we're at. Oh my goodness, it's right down Broadway, guys. There's just nothing to it. It's just a quick turnover, quick transition right up the middle. There's just nothing to it. He's off. He's off. That pass was off. Call it off. Thank you. I think he's offside, but if it's somehow onside, I'll take it. Turn. Look up the field, man. Look up the field. Yeah, it was very good. They're collapsing on Falcone. Then you just drop it off and hit him over the top like that. Oh, good shots. Freaking unlucky that didn't go in. He crushed that ball. Seemed anxious. I have faith in you. Can't you hear it in my voice? All right, Ryan Bailey, you're in. Uh, 
Um, fullbacks haven't delivered at all. Is there no way for me to see the analytics at halftime? The least realistic thing ever. Thank you. I have to hit a... Oh, no, there's not. Okay. Oh, I, I... Okay. I had to click back. Now we're here. Actually, you know what, Mari? I don't like your attitude. I'm going to have Oliver Martin, who's making really good passes today, hang out there, and I'm going to have Brandon Evans attack on that side. We're going to focus our play down the right, try and involve Yepi Norback more because he's not getting involved a lot. Okay, and now I'm going to talk to the team, which I already did. Now we're going to start the next half. Okay, thank you. I need at least two goals here. We have dug ourselves a nice, massive hole. We have not been dramatically outplayed in this game. We have just been out-sharpened. Get there. Easy. Nice, Toth. Oliver, thank you. I was about to get mad. There we go, Dom! Let's go, Dom! Come on, baby! Come on! That's how you start a half right there. Two more. Now we need two more. We walk out of here winners. Great work by Oliver Martin to deal with that pressure. Focus the play down the right. Pew. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Dom. Yes. Dom Kish scoring when we really, really need it. That is nice to see. Yuppie, just a heck of a player. Oh, it's there. He freaking saw it. Evans, can he slip him? Dom. No, he needs to power that. There's really no spot you can put that on the goal. That that's going to go in from there. Well, uh, yo, 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 yo. Who just went absolutely anybody? Anybody at all? Yuppie, finally. Thank you. Somebody just got sent to the shops. <laughs> Come on. Dude, we need two goals, man. Our Champions League dreams. Good save. I see I I, I want to shake the tree. I need to resist the urge to like shake it. <laughs> Chat. Gonzalez is on a six, dude, both of our fullbacks are on 6.3s. I should bring in Carlotti. Uh, no! Ah! My achy, breaky heart. Okay, where's Andrea? Andrea! I'm going to bring him in once we're done with the shout. No, 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 All right, play him. Oh, Gerardo Gonzalez, Ryan Bailey. That's not, that's not our team. That is Fonseca though, being very good. We take that. Okay. Middle, middle, thank you. Why? Like I get this is fun and all, but like, there we go. No, Bailey, don't you dare be the reason. Yes. Okay. Play it. No. Good. Oh, yes. Brandon Evans. Let's try it. Go. Two, two. The half 
time change has worked. Come on! Oh no. We're staying in it. We're staying in it. 2-2. Two, two. One more goal and we've got it the win that we need to stay alive for the Champions League. <sighs> Good pressure. Yes, Ricaro. Yes. Brandon Evans. Ryan Bailey once again losing the ball like a master. Oh, Ryan. Why did I trust you in this game? Ricaro, I love you. Brandon, Dom, Martin, Norback, is he on? Please be on! No! It might, I think he was more offside. No! <laughs> Oh, that close. I'm not taking Oliver off. He's tired because he picked up a bit of a knock, but he's the only, like, we already subbed out Mari. We have no other playmaker I'm going to bring in. It's going to, like, going to be able to do the things tired Oliver Martin's going to be able to do. Very well done, Bailey. Very well done, Oliver. Oliver, once again, should just bring this back. He's not running by. Dude, no way he just made that pass. Um, all right, we got a little teleportation going on here. No, yes, no. Thank you. Oh, why did you not catch that? All right, where's Carlotti? Uh, fullback sub there. <sighs> Bailey's in a 6.7. Could double sub. That's usually stupid. Oh, I guess we could use Rainier. Yeah, but Oliver Martin's playing a freaking stormer. Martin off, putters on. I'm not going with Kelly putters right now. What do I look like? I love Kelly. This isn't the time for Kelly. No! There was yogurt in that bag. Dang it, now I have yogurt all over my hand. They have two goals off corners. This is cruel. It's freaking cruel. I got my tallest player there. I can't do anything else. Are you serious? That's unbelievable. They have two goals on corners. What? Dude, there is no way. I, like, dude, we're not going to get in the Champions League this year. Because of this game, and that is just so ridiculous. Sorry, Z, you besmirched your team. Your team hasn't won a trophy since 2008. Be besmirched. Even the version of the team in the game has a trophy. They won the Conference League, and they won the FA Cup. And I'm really happy for them, and I hope you guys win a trophy in real life, but really... Dude, that's just a ridiculous goal. This is an absurd game, and I'm heartbroken for our team that it's happening right now. Because uh, it smacks of pain and rotten luck. <sighs> Bro, that didn't even make any sense. <laughs> what is happening? Literally, what is happening? Do you have eyes? That's like me. That's me playing a charity match in goal right now. Like, oh, I hit the post. Oh, God. Oh, oh, uh oh. Flag. Flag of the play. Friggin', I'm not even managing anymore. Ted, go play striker. You can't play goalkeeper anyways. I'm going to start Mustafa Drame in the next match. I mean, watch me. I'm so done. Play it. <laughs> Play the pass. What else are you doing? You want to run? You're exhausted. You don't want to run. Pass. 
Well, that actually might work. It's not a bad idea. Stop. All right, we're going to get him off so he doesn't get hurt. I'm going to take Dominic off. Needs a diaper for big matches. He's anxious, and he's on a 7.1. How is that even possible? Dude. <clears throat> Dude. Now I score four goals. I can't believe we're like, I, I, my brain hasn't even processed the fact that we're losing this game five to two. We were just like, I swear we were just running them off the field at the start of this half and nothing changed. Some really porous at fullbacks right now. Like, really, really porous on the outsides. Is Gonzalez on a... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Vazbox on a 6.1. Luis Fonseca is on a 6.2. And Gonzalez is on a... Or Va, yeah, and Gonzalez is on a 6.2 as well. Like, I just feel like this whole... Yeah, the right side. Uh, like, they just... They've evaporated in the last 15 minutes. Like, that last goal, as much as I was, like, freaking out about the fact that it was a stupid goal, and it was. I mean, it went off the post and then the keeper and everything else. But... Like, the last 15 or 20 minutes, we've been run on the right side of our defense. I've just been having an emotional breakdown, so I haven't done anything about it. Oh! No. Don't you dare. Enjoy 10th place, you dweebs. See, it's the right side again. It's like Gerardo Gonzalez has had an unbelievably bad game. He's so vulnerable. He's got Yepi Norback covering him, too, who's like the best defensive winger we have. Just stunningly bad. But the first two goals they scored had nothing to do with that. It's just after we went down 4-2, the right side of our defense has turned into Casper the Friendly Ghost. Oh, come on, dude. Tia Dozy, thank you for the tier one. No, I literally, I hit my bag that I got from Pret this morning. It's still sitting next to me, and I smashed it with my hand, and there was, like, half-eaten yogurt in there. So we went from bad to worse in that moment. Well, we got to win the last two games and hope everybody chokes. That's the situation we're in now. We got to win the last two games and hope everybody chokes. First game should win or we don't deserve to be there. Uh, it's at home against Nottingham Forest who are in the relegation fight. Second game is away to Arsenal. Um, that will be tougher, obviously, given the way we seem to be playing against teams in the big seven. We'll probably lose eight to nothing, but you know, we'll go in there with like real determination. You know, is he on? Ted Kurd's actually made some saves because we have completely stopped playing. Like we just stopped playing. Like, this should be 7-2 right now. That's one of the weirdest games I've ever played in my entire life on Football Manager. Dude, look at where it was at, like, 55 minutes. Look at the graph. We start the second half. We score two goals. Immediately, we tie it. XG is basically level at that point. We get one shot the rest of the game. Do you have any explanation for what just happened? Tottenham did not change their tactic. They might have changed things within their shape, but they didn't change their shape. That was terrible. The Kurt had a 7.0 because he actually made some, like, saves at the end. The dude was padding his stats. Yo. Hey, but at least we have, like, the fourth best goal difference. Chelsea has somehow jumped into the spot. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, Oliver, we're injecting you. 
Yeah. So did Oliver Martin injured? Dude, Oliver Martin played like a crucial role in our goals that we scored. So you're telling me after those two we should have subbed him off? I don't think that was a part of the problem. I mean, the first two goals that they scored were just, like, they racked up so so much XG in the last 20 minutes after they went up 4-2. Like, I cannot emphasize enough how much our team stopped playing. Sadly, your wash fell off. Don't worry. Reddit got there years ago, dude. Zealand doesn't know how to play football manager anymore. It is sad, really. It's sad to watch somebody who used to be able to play football manager just not be able to do it. Dude. I used to like Danielson Klein a lot, actually. Oh. That was so brutal to watch. That must have been brutal for you guys to watch, too. I'm just sitting here, like, absolutely shell-shocked at what I just saw. All right, so how we looking, right? Oliver Martin's not feeling hot. We'll start Salvatierra in this game. Dom Kish off the bench. We'll give you a rest here. Suspur Sp Spurious. Thank you for the 10. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, Ricaro? Dude, Doyle's about to get his curtain call, I think. Louise! Louise needs a day. Gerardo needs two days. Rafael Ricaro needs two days, brother. Davide is okay because I always sub him off because he's bad. So that's like a huge bonus. Thank you, Super Spurious. And enjoy the bacon if you got gifted a sub. Be sure you get in the sub section of the Discord. Thank you so much for being around and uh, being a part of this elite online gaming... <gasps> Community. You guys say something? Thought I heard something. That was weird. That was like super weird. Actually, I'm going to hold a team meeting right now. Team meeting. Hi. Reese's Pillow for us, perfect platform is take our game to the next level today. Really ensure our heads don't drop. Uh, Yeah. And yeah, baby. He nails the team talk. Well, if I was ever going to do anything, better late than never. All we need is for one of those three teams to bottle it. And is there a greater English tradition than bottling it? I say no. I say one of those teams will give us the opening if we can win these last two games. Obviously, we want to get into Europe, which apparently is on the rocks right now. Southampton won the League Cup, and that means there's only six spots. But there's so many weird things that can happen that can, like, add us into, you know, the extra spot in something. And we, you know, bare minimum want to be in Europe this year. That was our expectation going in. We stayed top four most of the year. We had a back-loaded schedule. We kind of survived the front-loaded or the front part of the schedule, even though we were playing against bad teams. Now we're playing, like, the good teams. So that sucked. Um, no. But, you know, we, we paid for not taking advantage of an easier part of the schedule on the front end. Now we have Nottingham Forest. Hey, Max, thank you for the 38 months. That's a big old, big old one. All right. Yeah, we fired the golden bullet. We held a team meeting. We're jacked. Transfer spend. 85 million in the red. We have the third uh, worst transfer spend deficit in the league. But that's uh, like out versus in. You know what I mean? And we don't sell anybody. We haven't been able to sell anybody for value at any point in our entire lives. Brandon Evans, you're playing. Oliver Martin, Mari. Uh, Ricaro, nowhere near the team today. Tommy Doyle, the club captain, is going to be back on the bench. Norback, Falcone, Dominic Kish. Available as a substitute, but Salvatierra needs to be relied on in these moments, and he is going to be. Fonseca, Gerardo Gonzalez, Toth, you're out for Carlotti. And we are going to come out, and we are going to play that aggressive style that worked so well for us the last time we played against a, a bad team. The issue is that I want to start this 
pairing because I would like Brandon Evans to be the aggressive one and Tommy Doyle to just hang on to things to the back end for us. And Oliver Martin's there if we need him. And so is Cole Palmer. Okay. They're going 4 2 3 1. Nothing weird in that that we need to account for. Please and thank you. I didn't start drama. I know. I'll just get ahead of that. I think we need to start uh show everyone that we're all about. I say things in the heat of the moment. And most of the time I don't mean them. And that was specifically about Ted Kurd. So let's play some defense. I would love a clean sheet today. That'd be awesome. I love you, Z, but this game is so full of bugs. Like, no other. It's why I prefer to watch this than play it. Yeah, I mean, if I wasn't making content around Football Manager, I would absolutely always um, buy it, like, every three years. I think then you get, like, a good spacing. Uh, clean sheets. Oh, you actually have Ted Kurd has the third most clean sheets in the Premier League somehow with 12. But that has not been our recent vibe. Oh, Beulah with a little stand on the ball action. We do love that. Also, probably a nice game to start the captain in. I mean, there's two matches left. We literally have to win this game. No ifs, ands, or buts. This has to be a win. Or we can kiss Champions League goodbye. And, ref, that is egregious. We are at home at Bristol City Stadium, our final home game of the year. Final match we ever play in this stadium because we're going to move back to our refurbished stadium for next season. Oh, get in. We must dub. We must dub. Now I'm saving the FM gods for the next one. We should be able to take care of this one ourselves, and then we will hearken in the FM gods for our final, uh, final match of the season, as one must, because we will need, we will, we will need something. All right, Bulo, Carlotti. Davide Falcone. Nice giveaway after the overlap came. It's always helpful. It means Bulo's defending out on the wing, and somebody stepped in there. That is row W. <sighs> nice. Falcone. I love it. That's literally what I was just looking at. I'm like, wow. Oh, that is so good. And that's actually amazing goalkeeping. That was a bit of a heavy ball from Carlotti, but I love the first time. Quick two-touch delivery. That's why we play that high tempo. Ooh. Maori. Cheeky to Yepi Nodabak. Maori. He went for it. Oh! Oh, it would have been a nice gift, Mari. That would have been a nice gift. You know, after that team talk and everything, we are not playing well. Erickson, thank you for the 16 months. Yo. 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 Drop it down low. Yo. Give me that. Vamos a la playa. Oh, yo, I said, yo, and yo, but like, oh. Pass, Brandon. Oh, Brandon on the move. Salvatierra, Davide Falcone. That freaking nice combo. Okay. Do it again. Again. The Falcone is a natural striker. He's got to be better at finishing than he has been this year. Especially now that he's happy. Falcone's vibes have returned. Why is he not cooking?
That's mine. Lay it off. Good. Oh, my dude. That touch. And then you don't go after the ball and win it back. Doyle's got to save you. You got to just take that out wide, man. Just take that touch out wide. It's not even really out wide. It's just away from the crowd. First touch, 101. But Mari's first touch is actually surprisingly bad. It's his worst playmaking trade. It's like 15. Which, in the Premier League level, for a guy that is having to play in those tight spaces is pretty low. You'd see that coming from Mars. We just lost him completely. I need a sandwich for lunch that I have. Like literally, I, I don't even know. I've I don't I've never seen a play break down like this off of um like I've just never seen a play break down like this off of uh off of the throne. That's their starting striker, dude. Inexplicably, entirely alone. Lighting the fire has worked in the past. Nice, Doyle. Oh, uh, no. Okay. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I'm just 
sandwich covered in yogurt. No, I had it out of. The, I had it on my desk before I smashed my bag. Nice pass by Evans. Just need to score two goals. That's not one. Although that was a good play and a good pass that found a nice opportunity. Well, and they just actually put a couple of passes together. But Fonseca is taking care of it, fortunately, after we've given Bigger two opportunities over the top. Please keep it on the ground. Thank you. There we go. Evans, he can carry, he can pass, he can... Ooh, that was close to being what we needed. Davide fighting it towards Kish. Yeah, good step. Good step in their space. Their fullback got caught up, and for some reason we're going for that. It was a good shot. It was a stupid decision. His match rating should go down for it. Bro, is he on there? Fat chance. Must have been the uh, must have been Fonseca that kept him. There you go. Somebody's open. And that's a disgusting pass. Surprised that shot wasn't blocked. Hey, them two. Then we have one more sub. Anxiety from Brandon Evans. We don't like that. He's a good player. Okay. Um, hmm. We do have Kelly putters. I think maybe 15 minutes from now we might go that direction. Put him in for Mari and just hoof a little bit. Oh, my God. Conference League champions, if we were so lucky, I think we might miss Europe altogether. Depending on results in other matches, we could already be out of Europe altogether at the end of this match. But we still have time, and we need to be really, really aggressive with the way we position our team so that we do have a chance to get two goals, maybe even three, and turn that narrative around. This would be really nice if Cole Palmer could hit a pass anywhere in the 30-yard vicinity of where Dominic Kish needed it. Our Ferrado Gonzalez stopped dropping 6.2s in every game. 
All right, Bailey. Nice. Nice shot, dude. Way to work that ball into the box like we told you. Great effort. All righty. We are going to throw you on attack. Um, we're actually going to put Bailey as a wing. We're going to have you as an inverted wing back. Cuts into that area. You're going to go on attack as well. Mari is coming off for Kelly Putters, who's going to help knock the ball down for us, and that's how we're going to play. Salvin Sierra started the game at striker because Kish couldn't go a full 90 or else we'd bring him in. But we do have Kelly Putters who can do something. Let's go through our team's options to make sure we have everything up that we want. Be a little more direct. And yes, let's create... All righty, Gerardo, what are you thinking? Bailey out wide, that works for me. Homie can pass, but... Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. We'll take some cheese. We'll take some cheese. Kelly putters with his first goal of the year. Big body just throwing it around. Gets a glide. Dude, he almost headed that wide. It was Evans that volleyed it and that hit putters and he managed to like steer it over. All right, get in there. Get in there, baby. Let's go. One more now. I need one more. We'll stay on it. One more. We're not celebrating yet. We want one more. One more. Come on now. One more. Luis Fonseca. Write us off at your own peril, you know? Write us off at your own peril. Oh, Louise, big play, Louise. Oh, good idea. I like that pass. All right, Gerardo. Dang it, Gonzalez. Come on, man. Get there. Brandon Evans making a play. Cole Palmer. There you go. Oh, that was one of those cut back against the green type of balls. Bailey, get fouled. I like the cross. I like the cross. Let's keep this energy. Let's keep the same energy now. This has turned into a hectic mess for them. They're freaking out. Come on. Oh, my goodness, Gerardo. If I had, I, I'm going to fire you into the sun, Gerardo Gonzalez. How do you always have a 6.2 and I've never hated you until now? Bailey, oh yes, Dom Kish. Got to slow it down a little bit. We got a tidal wave of taunting shirts coming, or we do that. Unbelievably stupid, once again. Remarkable stupidity, but the highlight continues, and we love to see that. Come on, keep going, highlight. Keep going, highlight. That's what we want to hear. No. Fonseca. Well, that was a solid save. That was okay. That was an all right save by Ted there. That was okay. All right, boys, come on. Highlight continues. Oh, give me one more. Give me one more to go win this game, brother. Give me one more to go win this game. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. They called it back. They called it back. The game kind of broke here. They called it back. I don't really know. Um, He's offside when the ball is played. He is offside, I think. So it's no goal. No goal. Uh, good stuff. All right, maybe we, we've got one more play going for us. Dom Kish. Why? 
Oh, I'm not even live? I am live. Why is the... Oh, there it is. Oh, now we're getting the disallowed goal replay. All right, cool. Weird. And Evans, somebody. Gerardo Gonzalez, maybe. Under oh, my goodness. Evans. Kiss! Oh. Got my England squad announcement for the World Cup coming up. Shout out to that 6.46 in the last five games from a boy Gerardo Gonzalez. Actually going to follow up on something we've done before. I am going to find you a week's wages, and you just you better like it, Gerardo, because what the heck was that game? All right. Uh, sandwich eaten. Time to go. Finn Stevens moment has come now. Finn Stevens would be averaging a 5.9 probably. Just sucks. A lot of draws. Haven't been able to turn the draws into wins. Haven't been able to turn the losses into draws. Just incredibly streaky i mean we just gave up 2.4 i know we gave up a, 
a penalty off a free kick, but we just gave up essentially 1.7 XG to Nottingham Forest before that penalty. That's so bad. That's just so bad. We can't, you know, we didn't deserve to win that game. We would have stolen it if we had, like, actually pulled all that nonsense off at the end. It would have been a steal. It would have been an absolute steal. No business winning that game. And it's embarrassing to say that we had no business winning a game against Nottingham Forest. They didn't do anything novel tactically. They just beat our players player for player. We didn't create anything tactically that gave us an advantage. Oh, it's my preliminary World Cup team? Oh, God, that's easy. Okay. Um, that is easy. My preliminary World Cup team? Oh, come on. I'm taking Thomas Westwood. Hell yeah, Alex Gascoigne. Hell yeah. Etienne Green. Uh, probably not. Probably not Callum Teodorovich either. Oh, there's really nobody else there that's any good. I'll just take the five. Hell yeah, brother. International. Oh, Gary Woods hurt. How long? Nine days, three weeks. That's fine. Calling up Tino. We're calling up Gary Wood. We're calling up Danielli. Ianelli right there. Josh Feeney, who's definitely been in the conversation. Old Trent Alexander Arnold. Gary Cannon Norin, who's been around the convo. Hayden Rabo. Welcome to the team, dude. This is James Reynolds. I don't really know this guy's. 55 man squad. Uh, this is the preliminary squad for the World Cup, so it's not um oh not B, sorry. Uh A, actually. Call up to the England A team. Dan Bass. Dude is actually just a winger, masquerading as a defensive minded player. So we'll deal with him on that level. Couchman was pretty good when I played against him. We've been making a lot of people look pretty good recently. Jermaine Bragg, what's up? Richard McIntosh. Philip Sung. I'm just looking for guys that I looked at in the past and I've been like, yes, I would like that guy on my team. Saul Jacobson, no, but is she Samuel Smith is actually a yes. Okay, let's go to the midfield. Tony Phillips, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Kane Hadlow. Hell yeah. Gregor McDearney, I already know I'm going to call him up, so let's call him up now. Um, Luke Dalton is going to get called up as well. I don't know who Evan Nixon is. He's pretty good, though. What he's doing at Leeds. He's cracking on. Michael Elise. Hell yeah! Is Alfie Devine any good? He's a work rate. Actually, he might sneak into the actual World Cup team. There's a Small chance. Alex Scott, I've called up before. The Rash Daddy. There's so many guys that you have to call up for this. Wow. Barrington Gordon. Oh, Barlazer. You can bring Barlazer. Bring Barrington Gordon. 22-year-old Barrington Gordon. Charlie Greasdale. I don't really get the point of this, though, because then I just kind of boil this back down to my actual team, and then I make decisions on, like, three guys. I'm like, huh. Are they any good? Ben Young any good? I feel like I don't know. Would, uh, would calling McNerney affect his value? It would affect how much he likes me, I think, which could also help. Remy Folds. Remy Fool. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. There's Emre Tuzgo, who I nearly have called up to the team a couple of times. Graham Dodds. Where's Kofi? Obviously, Kofi Adai, who we like. 
All right, we're close, finally. Uh, it's Ty Terrell Adonis. Appreciate your versatility. You deserve recognition. Ben Young. Well, if you deserve recognition, dude, you're well, he's, he hates big matches too. So I'm an, I'm an anti big. I'm anti Ben Young on all accounts. Well, he's 19. This guy's probably got a future with the national team. We'll give him the taste of being in the camp. Dan Brass. For some reason, I remember looking at you and not liking you. But we might be at a level that's low enough that it's time for you to, to be around. Bar Laser's another young kid who could be in the national team picture at some point. Greasdale's okay, but he plays for LAFC. We really going there? Matthew Granger, call him up. We full? No, still not full. All right, I'm taking Pennington. Tommy Pennington. Fine, I'll take Dan Brass. God. Unbelievable. Sammy Baybrook. 30 year old at Everton. Never gotten a look before. Surely. Until now. I might call Philip Sung. Oh, this gets kind of nasty with it. Pete Bailey. Oh, it's full. We have finally done it. Our 55-man preliminary squad. I'm just going to make sure that we don't have any obvious omissions. So we're going to deselect all positions, select all positions. And the highest one is Oliver Skip to my Lou, which is fine. Ben Young, Coyotes, Mori, James Reynolds, Carl Hodgson, Luke Couchman, Jack Mellon, McIntosh. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Must respond. There's your 55-man preliminary World Cup squad. Please leave me alone. Just call below to your U18s to bump their value. Honestly, don't know if that would work. Probably worth... Dude, Sebastian Salvatierra's in the 55-man call-up for Argentina. That's awesome. Oliver Martin's in Germany's 55-man call-up. <laughs> One of my youth players... Adriano Garvey, one of my young loanees, is in the Jamaica 55, man. That's troubling. Yepi Norback is in Denmark's, which is nice. Robert Toth made it into Serbia's. I feel like he's played for Serbia 11 times, but he hasn't been called up recently. Agadello is with the boys in Colombia. That is crazy. I... <laughs> Salvatierra is the one that blows my mind that he's in the 55 man call up for Argentina. I guess I get it. How many strikers are you going to have that are on Premier League rosters? But I don't know. I just feel like Argentina is one of those national teams. You got to be like a world beater to be in. Those are just 55 man call ups for the World Cup. But uh... oh, these are Premier League matches. Oh, come on, City. Come on, Manchester City. Beat United, please. Please beat Manchester United. Let's go. And that keeps us alive for jumping into sixth, depending on a Manchester City loss or, or Manchester United loss or draw. That could get us up into sixth. A loss for Chelsea and a win for us could flip the goal difference, depending on what the score of the games are. They are plus 25, we're plus 22. So with a win and a loss, the goal difference is actually one apart, just so that we're aware. Uh, Tottenham is in the Champions League, apparently, because they have won the Europa League final. Of course they have. So Tottenham is in the Champions League. Um, Southampton's Conference League, because they won the other thing, that means there's only five spots. Uh, United's Europa League because they won the Conference League, right? No? Why are they in the Europa League? Because they won the FA Cup. Cool. Um, uh, that means that we need Chelsea to lose. I don't know who they're playing, but we need Chelsea to lose. I mean, we need we need Chelsea to lose their game. 
If we can jump Chelsea and uh, if we jump Chelsea and Manchester United, it doesn't matter what United does. As long as we jump Chelsea, I think we can still like we can still get into Europe. But we need Chelsea to lose on the final day, and we need to flip the goal difference. And obviously, we need to win. That goes without saying. But we need Chelsea to lose and flip the goal difference around, and United can go wherever. I mean, they can lose, they can win, I don't care, because they're already going to a European match because they've won the FA Cup. Southampton won the League Cup, and Tottenham won the Europa League. Ah. I think we can get Europa League. I think it would be Europa League. Honestly, I have no idea. There's so many different... Like, we're 14th for turnover on revenue. It's actually still very reasonable. Who's Chelsea play? Stoke away. Who are playing for their lives, fortunately, so they're not playing for nothing. Stoke is playing for their very survival. Nottingham Forest needs a win, most likely. A draw and a loss for Stoke actually would do it, but Nottingham Forest is playing Tottenham, and as we all know, they're the best team in the league. Um, yeah, Chelsea's away to Stoke. Um, United. Which doesn't really make a difference anymore as a way to the worst team in the league. Leicester. So United situation, it doesn't really matter. Um, we are just focused on whether Chelsea bottle it. And obviously we have to win. Okay, Dom, you're playing. Uh, Salvatierra, Falcone, Norbeck, Evans, Mari. Uh, Martin's injected again, so he is available off the bench. Bulo, Carlotti, Fonseca. We're going to go fullbacks on support today. Gerardo Gonzalez, I am watching you. I am watching you. 4 3 3. 4 4 2. Oh, I say. Right, well, we're not upping our press stuff there. We're just going to play balanced, and we're going to play what for most of this season was our game. But honestly, the whole second half of the year, we've been waddling along and not been that good. So, yeah, let's, let's end the season with a win. Let's end the season with a win. You'll probably get Europe. No. Have you if you if you looked at the thing, we're like not we're not probably gonna get Europe. Have you looked at the thing? I have. Yeah, we're probably not. Because we have to get into the top five, Caleb. Or top six if United's in the top five.
should, I should. Dear FM Gods, I'm mad at you. I feel that you have treated this young team unfairly. No, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, FM gods. that I have been dedicated to you for a long, long time. But in this save, I feel as though you have repeatedly kicked me. And I want to know why. Put your boot on me and push me. Hold on. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hi. You're interrupting a really important prayer right now. Uh, what do you need? Didn't have the guts to face up, I guess. Now, if I'm gods, if you sent her to try and distract me, I'm focused on this right now. Because I am upset. Because I think we built the team that deserved more this year. Do I have faith in your infinite wisdom? But I don't see it right now. Now, FM gods, we pray to you to make things right. And we pray that you see the unjustness that has been done and you fix it. All right, FM gods, you listening? If you are just and infinitely wise, then we all know what must be done. In the name of Eric Mendes, Erling Haaland, Juan Chavera, and Nick Makuti, we pray Ramen.
Chevez, thank you for the tier one. You guys, the one, you were the guys that wanted to talk to the FM guys. I didn't want to talk to them. All right. They've been very mean to me, and I've been nothing but nice to them. Okay. It's been this whole save. This whole save has been mean. And we have overcome it anyways by just being so ridiculously better than the teams we're playing that we just eventually go up anyways. Yo, 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 yo. Why did you drop, Gonzalez? It doesn't make any sense. Gerardo off to a hot Gerardo Gonzalez level start here. Actually, I want to create... Oh, yeah, we already have it. God, I'm smart. Center mid on attack is going to create a stagger against their midfield. We'll have three levels and be able to pass right through it. Or uh, that, Dom Kish, are you on side? Oh, oh, that was almost nice, but he took an extra touch. Nice. Come on, Mari. Bring it back. Bring it back. You know that's the only option. You don't trust your right, apparently. Nobody trust. Oh, dude. Oh, that freaked me out. I didn't know where that ball was in the air. Nobody trusts their non-dominant foot to do anything in FM23. That's just the way it works. Except to shoot. He's off, surely. No, apparently. All right. Decent little quarter chance there. Prado Gonzalez inexplicably in a 6.5. The dude is unstoppable. Fonseca on a 6.4. Good. You're doing well. Keep working hard until full time. Yeah, dude. Way to go. What a absolute nothing of a half. Okay, we'll go positive second half. Be a little more aggressive with our positioning. Fenton, thank you so much, dude, for the gifted sub to Serana. Welcome to the Hammers. Oi. was a push away from the ball. We're playing Dominic Kish in. Are you serious? That was weird. I've never seen like an off-ball push in that area of the field called ever. Wow. I don't know if I played a match where less happened. This is wild. It's like 64th minute. I feel like we just started. All righty. Well, the problem is we're not getting any highlights. They're getting highlights that don't really matter, but we're not getting anything. So let's change Oliver in there. Dominic Kish, uh, we'll leave you in, but Oscar Hernandez can play 30 minutes apparently, and I'm done with Davide Valcone. I want to have him replaced in the starting lineup of this team. Please and thank you very much. Okay. Roger Gonzalez has recovered a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. We have to win. So now we're going to go for it. Hope everybody's cool with that. This is the only chance we have of good, thing, good things happening is if we win this game. So we have to win. And by, by winning is how we win. By, by scoring goals and, you know being aggressive and you know just cool winning things generally so we're gonna do that and um yeah it's gonna be sick you guys should totally come check it out <laughs> we're gonna go do that winning thing oscar oscar 
Ay. We win by winning. Couldn't have said it better myself. Get it. Get it. Get the ball. Get the ball, man. All right. The uh, talk is over, which is good. That means we can sub out Dom Kish. And we can sub out Rafael Ricaro for Kelly Putters and do this and do this and bring him back and put him there and put him there. So Salvatierra, Kelly Putters, we have one more sub left. Norback's actually played pretty well, but we can take out Brandon Evans for uh, Ryan Bailey or Cole Palmer. I'll go with Cole Palmer. He's very consistent. He's not going to be afraid of this moment. All right, let's go. Let us go. Let us go. Like a lettuce wrap, boys. Come on. There you go, Fonseca. Good play. It's actually very well done. Turn around, Oscar. Thank you. Salvatierra. All right. Should be flowing in. What a pass by Salvatierra. Oh, Kelly oh! Potters. Oh! Unbelievable from Kelly Potters. That is a hit and a half. Oh, my word. Kelly Potters. Brilliant. What on earth was that from Kelly Potters? That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. I had to make like 45 changes to our tactic now. Uh, yeah, we're going low. We're doing a little time wasting. Totally regroup. Totes regrouping when we give the ball up. Uh, absolutely going lower line. Thank you. Well, Chelsea's winning, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we could finish ahead of Man United if they're not winning, so we'll check that score in a second. But just great pass by Salvatierra and a thumping hit by Kelly Putters for second goal of the year. In as many matches, what an end of the year for Kelly Putters. Uh, United is also winning, so we're not gaining any place here. United and Chelsea are winning. United's up 2-1 away to Leicester. Chelsea was up 1-0. Uh... Yeah, they're still up 1-0 uh, away to uh, Stoke. Tactic seems wild. Uh, it plays guys in the natural positions that they have, but it also makes us a lot more defensively responsible than the last thing we were doing. That is incredible composure from Andrea Carlotti. Roll it right, 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 Ted. Rasson. Dang it. Actually end up maybe... Uh, oh, no, it's not fine because you didn't play it short or we can control the pace of the game. Stoke aren't on 10. It was an injury. It wasn't a card. I had that thought for a second, too. Whoop. Oh, yo, ref, 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 ref. Good. Let's end this. A little pen. A little set piece pen. A little Cole Palmer at the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cole Palmer on loan from Manchester City. Deep breath, kid. That's a goal. A thumping finish from the spot for Cole Palmer. 2 0. The way to Arsenal. Oh, Salvatierra. Absolute killer mindset here. Oh, putters. Trying to ramp it in. Well, this is a good performance. This is a good performance from us. Nice, Bilo. Oh. 
Professor Dinosauro, thank you for the uh, two months. I don't usually watch the streams. How are, you, how are we compared to YouTube? We're good. I mean, you know, we found a way to win on the road. But how, I, you know, we're more... I mean, streaming is just hours and YouTube videos are like 10 minutes. So it's just a different, yeah, different experience. And that brings the season to a close with us finishing in seventh. Uh, a win for Chelsea and a win for Manchester United. I uh, puts puts those teams into Europe, and we unfortunately uh, will not be in Europe this season, um, which is incredibly disappointing. Just absolutely tremendously disappointing. We we set that as our minimum expectation. We failed. Uh, in our second Premier League season. I know that sounds stupid, but we were good enough. <clears throat> Normally, seventh would be nice, but like, it would be good enough for it, but it was not uh, it was not good enough for it here. Yeah, player fitness concerns. Got great news for you. It's called the off-season. Leave me alone. Yeah, I need a little more depth. We got a $31 million check. Ayo. Furkles, thank you so much for the gifted subs as well. Thank you to Super Spurious. Thank you to Furkles with the seven. I appreciate it. Who's going to tell him? He doesn't know. It's not. What do I not know, chat? Did the thing pop up next to me? I must have missed the European thing that popped up next to me. Let's see. Five Champions League, two Europa League, one Conference League. Looks right to me. I mean, it just updated. Like, it literally just updated. Ugh. You get an extra spot because of coefficients. Why is that even a thing? I didn't know that existed. Norback, new Premier League record for assists. That's insane. That's a heck of a year for Yepi Norback. And he's a heck of a player. And he's got a lot more room to grow, apparently. And he's got five more years of growth, according to our research. So he's going to end up being a, a special dude. Special player. Very professional as well. Fyodorov's breaks. Uh, oh, wow. The Skybet League run record for match rating set by Taunton's Charlie Whitaker was broken by Gatis Fyodorov's. Right. Are we going to lose Hernandez because of our $29 million release clause? I wish we would. What's the release clause? Oh, clubs in Champions League. I would love to lose him for $30 million. Are you kidding me? Could we lose him? I would love to lose him. Kish won Young Player of the Year, so that's that's nice. You know, hopefully he grows into an adult that's not afraid of his own shadow in important matches next year. England duty begins. Why am I speaking to these people? I don't want to speak to them. I am okay, and I do not want to speak to them. Right. Good conversation. Okay. England camp begins. I've stepped right into England camp. Team of the year bonus. Oh, wow. He made the team of the year. That's a half million dollars to Dom Kish. 50 million in the transfer budget. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 50 mil in the budget. It's the updated UCL. It's like the, well, I know it's the whole league format thing. Play 10 matches against random teams in the league. So the updated European format gives one spot to the league that has the highest coefficient. One European spot. So what, Europa League or Conference League? Oh, top two leagues. So the new format in the future, which we're, of course, in, is going to give one extra spot to the top two leagues on the coefficient. 
Highest two get Champions League. Oh, so we end up in Europa. That means Chelsea's going to the Champions League. Oh, we're playing in the Europa League, I think. Yeah. It's not bad for a noob streamer, huh? We actually did enough to get into the Europa League. That feels cheesy. It feels not right because in real life, in the current moment, this would be it and we just wouldn't be in Europe. We averaged 20,000 people at our stadium an hour away from our hometown, so that's pretty okay. Good broadcast revenue, very good sponsorship revenue. Dom Kish was the leading jersey seller. Uh, we are a three and a half star team. God save the Taunton. Um, the record for most assists in the Premier League, Yepi Norback with 18 assists. Uh, Dom Kish, young player of the season, fans player of the season. Goal of the season was Carlotti's. Ricaro had the most passes per 90. And Andrea Carlotti's transfer fee of 76 million was the highest initial fee we've paid. So I did like, when does it hit after the Champions League is done? Is it played yet? Like, when does that hit? Are the finals on um, the 27th? It's Real Madrid. Wow, the uh, two English teams lost. Da -na 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 Into season break. Hi, guys. How you doing? Season's over. Um, fully rested. Come back. Looking for the Europa League next year. Season is finished. Now it's time to focus on what we can achieve going forward. I think you finish top half next year. Yeah, there's not even a lot of guys here because most of our guys are at World Cup camps. But Luis Fonseca, who plays for Spain, is not at the World Cup camp, so that's awkward. So that's exceptionally awkward. High tempo and possession style are pleased with the way that we played. Can I remove the entertaining? I just don't like adding all these things. Record a top half finish is now our expectation for 25. Oh, that's two years from now. Okay, I feel like I should be able to suggest this out. Are you serious? Cool, man. Great negotiations. <laughs> Great negotiations, bro. Sick. Absolutely awesome. Salvatierra is happy the promise was kept. Let's go. Uh, we have improved our youth category. Wow. Let's go. I just want to see it be official because this is something like I've never really played in the new Champions League format because I right I've, we've been we've been going up the league, so I haven't like played in the new Champions League format or know how it works. How do they have the room in the competitions to just add two extra teams? Taunton Stadium redevelopment is finished. Oh, let's go. Just in the nick of time. So what is it? How many seats? We have no idea. Plan stadium work. Oh, it's only going to be 17,000, bro. We're going to sell it out every game. We're literally just going to sell it out every game. That's crazy. We going to sell it out every game now. Or sell it out every game. LeBron James. There we average 20,000 as attendance and we're going to have 17 and a half thousand in our Taunton Bay Stadium. So that's just the the house is it's, it's going to be a packed house for every game going to be a madhouse. Bulo made the team of the week, but I already paid out my team of the year bonus. So where was the team of the year thing? Competition, Premier League award winners, team of uh, the players team of the year. Had Dominic Kish in it. All right. Who's the player of the year? Erling Holland. That doesn't surprise me at all. He deserved it. Manager of the year wasn't me. It was Stefano Pioli. Fair. Okay, yeah, play, it was just players' team of the year. A lot of city players. 
Two Liverpool players, Bournemouth's goalkeeper and my striker. Four more days until hopefully it seems now I'm convinced we're going to somehow go from not being in Europe to skipping the Conference League and going straight into the Europa League. Which would be a massive boon for the club and would affect the amount of money that we are potentially able to spend. But let me go to this first. I want to just see. We're going to go to Deep Dark Desires. Three guys. All right. Gregor McNerney, who we are desperate to sign. I think he would be an incredible addition. Old Gregor McNerney also loves big matches. He's recently discovered, so that is even better. The issue is Newcastle's interested. Now it's Liverpool. Why do you need him and Milson? Are you ever satisfied? Looks like no. Facundo de la Fuente would be a nice inside forward. We'd have to teach him. Tim Aleman. Eduardo Delgado. Jean Bayentos. But really, the guy we want is Gregor McNerney. Yeah, I do know that part of the format. I know how the league format works. I know how the league format works. If you finish in the top eight, you're Gucci. You go. If you finish in the middle 16, playoff to get to the next thing. Okay, we should improve the youth recruitment at least. Come on. With the club's finances being in the state that they currently are. You gave me a $50 million transfer budget, dude. You can poach Peter Hilton all you want. That dude sucks. You gave me a $50 million transfer budget. All right. And you're telling me we can't afford improving our youth recruitment? Really? Ridiculous. No, I'm not. I argued for the youth one. I'm not arguing for training facilities. Because I know they're not going to give them to me. I just asked to see if I was wrong about how it worked. do 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 all right we also have like i think our like full england squad selection for uh the world cup i think we boil it i don't know if we boil it down multiple times or not but if we just boil it down once from 55 to 23, then this was all very stupid. Seems oddly defeatist. Now, I mean, I know I just know how it works. Like the training facilities, you have to have the money in the budget and they'll give it to you. If you don't have the money in the budget, they won't give it to you. Gestalt, thank you. 32 months. The hero of the new gen face pack, Gestalt. The legend behind it. Yes! Oh. We've been on such an emotional journey, chat. We've been on such an emotional journey. K with the 50 gifted subs. The ups, the downs, the bottles. And yet, somehow, some way, the FM gods did exactly what we asked them. And they knew that we deserved it. And they gave it to us and bequeathed it to us right at the end. There are six Premier League clubs in the Champions League next season. Tottenham won the Europa League. An extra Champions League spot because of uh, coefficients. And we have been bumped into the Europa League because of it. Absolutely unbelievable, chat. Absolutely unbelievable.
Tottentown is playing in Europe next season. We'll see Sevilla in the final. There are seven, there are nine Premier League clubs going to Europe next year. Two Europa League, six Champions League, and one in the Conference League. So they have to do one the League Cup. Taunton Town, who you've watched come all the way from Wordsworth Drive, the Signet Healthcare Stadium, and get knocked out of the playoffs in the sixth tier. To representing England in the Europa League. In one of the weirdest ways possible, we have qualified for it. A record-breaking season from Yepi Norbeck. A tremendous team of the year season from Dominic Kish in his debut. And this club is going all the way to Sevilla for the Europa League. Need more spam than that. Taunton Town is in freaking Europe, chat. Taunton Town is in freaking Europe. I just had to live in a world where for five minutes I thought we'd bottled Europe entirely. And I was in pain. But we, we got there. We didn't get Champions League like we wanted. We need to fix some problems that we had towards the back half of the season. But holy Moses, we got there. All right, guys. That's it for the stream today. We are going to raid somebody. What a journey this season was. Good gracious. Thank you guys for hanging out for all of it. I, I, I'm so lucky to be able to do this and hang out with you guys every day. And I, it means the world. Thank you for every sub. I'm, I'm K. You're an absolute legend. 50 gifted subs. That is so awesome and kind. I really appreciate it. We're going to raid somebody. We're going to go make their day as we always like to do. So do stick around for that. Even if you're about to head off in a second, just stick around so we can go uh, really brighten somebody's day because there's no skin off our backs, right? But I love you guys. Fist bump. Thank you. All the ups and the downs. We came through it. And uh, yeah, all the ups and the downs. We came through it. and We got this team into Europe in our second season. And that's freaking awesome. Love that. Love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop. But seriously, very luck. Uh, very, 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 very lucky. Very happy. Good God. Oh. So I feel like I need to exhale for like five straight minutes. Let's go make somebody's day. Who are we raiding? I'm going to be exhaling for an hour. <sighs> We're in Europe. We're in Europe. RDF? We raided RDF not too long ago try and mix it up you know also rdf's a homie i like raiding people we've never raided before we like just started streaming just knock their socks off you know let's go do it oh carl hi carl we made it into europe <laughs> hope you're well dude
Wild Carl's been spotted. Grab a Pokeball, dude. I want to play Pokemon. That's a focus. Sealand, focus. We're rating. Got it. I want to play Pokemon. Though. I haven't played Pokemon in so long. We got our copy pasta ready. Oh, the freaking. Hey, we bottled our way into Europa League. We bottled our way into Europa League. I'll bottle my way into that any day of the week. But we are aiming for Champions League spots next year. That is the goal. Or we just win the Europa League, get there that way. Have I ever raided you? Uh, no, I have not. Oh, he's wearing the bandana, too. This is the guy. This is the guy. Let's make this guy's day. All right. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for hanging out and everything. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back Monday. We're playing the World Cup with England, so not serious at all. Not serious at all. Uh, just the World Cup with England, uh, who we are managing. It's going to be great. See you guys then. Uh, video came out today. It's about Juventus' situation. Uh, very detailed. I have an intimate knowledge of criminal law in uh, Italy now, by the way. Today's video was great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did attach the videos that we were referenced in the actual video. Uh, so it's got Ben's endorsement. So if you haven't watched it, do check it out. Adler put in some serious work on that. Who The editor that lives directly above me. Chip! Thank you, and thank you, I'm K, for the batch of gifted subs. That was huge, super spurious. Freckles, thank you for the batches of gifted subs. Fenton, thank you always for tossing gifteds around. You, you're, you're awesome. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> right, okay. Have fun with the raid. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Okay, <clears throat> word of the day. Sorry. You stuck around for that word of the day, you're a madman. Or a mad woman. Or mad envy. I actually don't know exactly the way you're supposed to phrase that in a sentence. If somebody's watching this and knows, please teach me. Um, I just know ladies, ladies, gentlemen, and envies is the right way to say that. Anyways, I'm getting very easily distracted. The word is obstinate. Obstinate. O-B-S-T-I-N-A-T-E. Obstinate. And its most basic means stubborn. It describes people who, I actually know this word, who refuse to change their behavior or ideas in spite of reason, arguments, or persuasion. And it describes things that are not easily fixed, removed, or dealt with. The project that had been the group's main focus for weeks was temporarily stymied by one obstinate member's refusal to compromise. Uh, the planning committee discussed ways to mitigate the obstinate problem of gentrification. All right, see you at the end of another stream for another word of the day. Have a good one.